For the fellas, does that mean through Discord? Does that mean on Twitch? No, just the fellas, like my college boys. Because I was like racking up dubs, and that was like when dubs were like, <laughs> dude, the best. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just like, the best. oh my God. <laughs> just like lob it on, lob it on Snapchat like you're sweating, dude. You're screaming. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Around the Bar presented by Center. Now, transparently, I'm doing this intro immediately after we filmed Around the Bar, so I am very intoxicated and you're wondering why. It's because today we had Daltouche on. Daltouche, extremely popular Apex streamer, also probably the king of Apex watch parties, no offense, nice wig. And also has um, has ventured into I'm drunk has has ventured into golf content with Touche Tees Off. Today we are talking about all things Apex Legends, college football, and of course golf. If you enjoy this content, please stay tuned for the extension of the podcast, which is called Behind the Bar. It is where we play some beer pong against the rest of the guests on Around the Bar. And actually, today is the uh, the last episode of season one for behind the bar so whoever wins the whole episode gets a trophy and of course thank you so much to center for sponsoring the podcast and i hope that you guys enjoy this conversation with daltouche welcome to another episode of the round the bar today we got the man the t- the daltouche good one i didn't know I-, I said the man and then that was at cheers we are drinking a uh, pineapple orange juice tequila right and you tell them why. Weird to start with the juice first. Usually you lead with the liquor. No, you kind of it's kind of like more of like a like a suspenseful thing. Right. And right. I made Matt one. Matt, cheers, camera. Matt's got a thick pour. Cheers. Nice he and does. muddy. A nice pour. I it's, you said tell him why? Because it tastes good? Nah. Cause you had last night. Oh, I was gonna do Miller Light because that's just my classic go-to. It is. Uh, but last night we did win a COD tournament. Some kid was putting it on. It was his birthday or something like that. It wasn't the <laughs> best tournament that I've been in, but it was fun. Uh, we did win it. And Why wasn't I, it the best? I'm just goofing. Okay. It's a great time. All right. Very well ran. Um, yeah, we won it. And then I proceeded to celebrate and I had enough beer. Call of Duty champion here. Heck yeah. That's you. Two. Not only. Two champs. Actually, technically two and a half. Because you and dropped it. Mm-hmm. You dropped was right there. You dropped Seth and Nade. Nade won the uh, won the little divisional champion. I didn't help, but we did. I'm two and a half for five on COD tourneys. I'm shooting fifty percent from the field. Yeah, because you won one with Cloaksy. Mm-hmm. Damn, never got I, paid. Okay, you never got paid because you never submitted for payment until a year and a half later. Right. All right, just making sure. Right. I don't want right. Jake, Jacob Lucky to right. click, clat, click right. that or anything, you know? Freaking Jake. How are you with him? He's all right. He's good. Yeah, I, I, I mean, you know. I figured if anyone had a run in with him, it'd be you. Yeah, I mean, he's good. He's a good kid. He's good? He's okay. a good kid. We talked at uh, the GGC outing in Vegas for whatever that was. We had a nice little interview. Handsome uh, kid. He's a sweet boy. Yeah, he's nice. I like him. Yeah, if anyone's in that position, at least at least they're nice. Yeah. And for some you reason, gotta be in that position. For some reason, he really likes us. He like he must love Blake. That must be what it is. Blake's off in the corner. If you see me say over there, I don't know what it is. How's the drink? It's yummy. I'm gonna slam. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. I feel like it's only right to slam the first one. Well, just to start it off with. I mean, you know me. And if, if you don't know me, I drink a lot. It's like it's <laughs> early signs of alcoholism, but it's okay because it's fun right now. Because it's, it's fun. fun You're right early. now. I don't have kids or a wife that hates me, you know? That's when it's okay to be alcoholic? It's okayer. It's okayer. It's, it's more fun. It's a spunky alcoholism, you know? <laughs> I mean, if you want to, I'm down. Are we slamming? All right. I mean, if you're down, I am. Matt? Matt's not slamming. <laughs> Matt's got a really big one. Mm-hmm. That's how you got it started. We'll get it flowing. Yeah, yeah. Listen, I'm not a good slammer. There's a, there's a clip of um, of us watching a uh, uh, Beerio Kart. You know, are you familiar? Beerio Kart, Mario with beer, <laughs> is what is what my guess is. That's got to be close. Yeah, you got to finish. You got to finish a. Uh, you got to finish a race of Mario Kart, 
and you have to finish your beer before you finish the race. Oh, and that's whoever fun. wins. Yeah, no. I figured I'd, I'm surprised. I never really got into Mario Kart. You're not a Nintendo. No. You're more of like the 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 jock side of gaming. Yeah, like back when I was six, I was out like just like smoking weed and banging chicks. I wasn't really mm-hmm. playing Nintendo. You know how it is, dude. Mm-hmm. And I was probably falling over my front yard. That's it. So in that, you're uh, you're technically supposed to. Oh, we're making our own drinks today. Austin has um, I don't know like life stuff to ha- to to attend to. This was kind of a last minute ordeal because we got Touche participating in an optic video tomorrow. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm very excited to participate and honored, <laughs> and honored to be involved. No, I, I, you, I, sound, you sound like you're a robot. You sound like you're talking to. There's no, there's no contract involved here yet. <laughs> Hold on, I have to get the. Whoever's editing this, make it at least. I don't know if this is entertaining or not because we're just pouring drinks. It's definitely tight. You know what's you entertaining so? is this conversation about the launch. Are you a pulp guy or a no pulp? No guy? pulp. Thank God. No pulp. Thank God. Yeah, no pulp. Just a quick sidebar. You pulp people, you sicken me and you freak me out. There's something wrong with them. Except like like freshly squeezed. I can I can because I feel like I feel like I'm from California. Like I'm about to hit waves. I could I could rock with the craft of freshly squeezed. Like if I see people doing it in front of me, I'm not gonna be like mm. I don't want pulp. I'm not gonna drink it's it. It's like eating a like Benihana. That's exactly what I was thinking, dude. You took the words right out of my mouth. The the orange juice of Benihana is freshly that's squeezed. What, that's what they say. That's what they yeah. called me in high school too. The the orange juice of Benihana. That's what they called me. Why would they call you that? All right, all right, so we got Touche here. He is an ex-Apex uh, lover and now golf lover. Is that a good way to say it? Dude, every pod I've watched with you, I don't know what it is, but they have a tendency to gawk on you a little bit. I'm not much of a gawker. I'm easily gawkable. I, so I you have keep to, drinking, you're going to start. I don't, I don't think I am. I just want you to know that this is not going to be a, as much of a gawk as you probably experienced in the past. I didn't expect anything. Good. Cheers to that. Yeah. I want I don't want you gawking on me either. Uh, well that's not gonna happen. No. Matt, gawkable? Gawkable. gawkable. <laughs> Mine's got some bite. So yeah. Now, now we could just sip on this. Now like, we're good. Gentleman. Yeah, we got one. Blake's gonna take shots here soon. He's thumbs up on him. He's fired up. And we're and we're good to go. All right. What uh, do you mean by that though? What? When you said they're they're gawking on me, they're just I, gassing me up the whole yeah, time. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I don't know. Maybe you, you choose your po- you choose your interviews well. I don't really get invited to many. I just say yes to everything. Mm. You think I deny podcasts? Yeah, have you? Mm-mm. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, like, n- well, yeah, people like in my chat are like starting a pod, and I'm Start, like, you're like, no, no, I'm not coming. To your Who dungeon, are you? Your Dungeon Dragons pod? Yeah, no, no. no. But um. Yeah, just just war- I just wanted to give you a fair a fair warning. So, Thanks, bro. everyone talks about Apex with you, but first let's talk about golf because I want to see those eyes light up mm-hmm. and your eyes twinkle and they talk about golf. I'm not much of a golfer. Maddie's a big golfer. Love that. Uh, uh, sell it to me. Sell it to me. Do you like give sunlight? Me- do you like sunlight? Uh, fairly a, f- a a good amount. Do a you good like, amount. Do you like hanging out with your friends? Yes. Do you like drinking? Yeah, yeah. Do you like driving small motorized vehicles? Yeah. You like being outside? You already asked that, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I? Do I? Well, oh, sunlight. No, yeah. no. Yeah. I like being outside. Yeah, it's sick, dude. Yeah. It's tight. Now. Sold. Oh. It- do you like getting better at something? Do you like watching yourself improve? Not really. Do you like putting yourself towards a goal and working at it and seeing it pay off? In It depends on what goal it is, but yeah. That's golf. Okay. All those things. See, I have a, I have a bit. It might be a mental illness, but I have, I have a, I have a tendency of like, if I'm not getting good at something that like will benefit, like, I can't like get casually good at something. I feel you. know, golf, golf will envelop you quickly. It'll sink, it'll sink its teeth in, and then you want to be competitive, and, you, and you're fucked. Are you, are you competing against yourself? Or always. You compete, that's it. Well, you go, there's all, always money bets on the side with your boys if you want to oh, do stuff like that. It depends on gambling. the format, the tournament, whatever you're doing. But most of the time, it's just you versus the course because golf's already fucking hard enough, yeah. much less competing against someone else. I, I saw an interview with Phil Ivey. Uh, he said he's a big golfer, and he, uh, he was betting at 1.75K a hole. A hole. Phil Ivey? That's what, do you know who Phil Ivey is? No, I think he's he was- a professional uh, poker player, uh-huh. like one of the best of all time. And he's like a big golfer, and he was betting 75 thousand a hole so is what is the relationship like between betting gambling and golf it gets pretty i mean it's very you know cohesive really? Really? yeah yeah betting is huge in golf 
Because so, you got to spice it up with the boys. I mean, after right. you play a couple times without betting, it's like, all right, let's make it interesting. Kind of like wagers. Yes. In Call of Duty. IRL wagers. Mm. See, now you're in. Okay, I might be now, in now. And you're also outside golfing. Did we mention that? Sunlight. That shit yeah. rips. True, true, true. I, I remember the days. Sunlight rips. I remember the days it's of so sunlight. so tight, dude. It's so tight. And you have people delivering you drinks on the course. Oh, you go to like bougie, or is that all of them? It's just car girls, brother, everywhere. Car girls that just drive around and they just really? bring you drinks. You got to pay for them. Oh, oh, it's not like a club. It's not like a casino. No, there's no bottles and all that. Oh, okay. But there should be. You get you get drinks when you golf Dr- from 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 people on carts. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. shit! So it's all of them. Yeah, I mean it's most of them. I didn't know if you were just going to like high end, like. Well, it depends. Not saying Matt doesn't. I'm sure Matt does too. Well, at the high end ones, they'll have uh, comfort stations or halfway houses, is what you call it. If you don't make the turn, so usually typical format of a golf course would be nine holes that loops back to where you started, okay. And then the other back nine that loops back, and then you have the main area, the clubhouse. The clubhouse. But like sometimes it'll go like nine holes out this way, and then it'll go all the way around. You won't see the clubhouse, so it'll be a comfort station, filled with anything you want. Name a snack. Twix. They got it. Damn. Name a drink. Uh, they got it. Damn. I'm serious. Really? Yeah. All of them. They got hot dogs. They got meat missiles. They got bratwurst. They got burgers. Mm. They got Skittles. You want some Skittles? I do. Yeah. I want some right now. Yeah. Put some in this drink. They got it all. Well, it's like white boy lean. Golf is just like a bougie, <laughs> like nice Should we cut sport. <laughs> no, we leave that in. White boy lean is good. White boy lean is good. I said nice. put Skittles in, in this. Okay. Super edgy joke. Okay. That's crazy. That's crazy. I just felt it felt like lean. Doesn't lean have uh, like Jolly Ranchers? Jolly Ranchers. How do you know? Uh, rap. Just cultural rap guy. songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, also, was big into it in high school. I'm were sure, you? I'm just kidding. Oh, it's a full okay, joke. Yeah, People yeah. are going to believe that though. I will tell you. I don't know if we're going to have to cut this, but at one point in the in the optic house, uh, some optic members won't say who came back with lean, and I was like. I don't know if I like where this is going. It was the only time it happened, though. Only time it happened. And that's why they call him Scumpy Scissor, right? Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> it wasn't Seth. Let's go ahead and get that out of the way. <laughs> Seth the Sizzy, baby. <laughs> it was the only time it happened, and I was like, all right, well, uh, maybe no more parties. I think keep that in. That's maybe fine. no more parties. Yeah, it wasn't anybody's fault. But, um, yeah, so you, I, think you've sold, I think you've sold me. I think, dude, I think you've sold me. It's great. It's great. And, you, and you're going to suck forever. Everyone sucks at golf. No one's good. Mm. That's a lie, but... You know, you get it. So Everyone there's no sucks. like prodigies. There's no 27 year no, old prodigies. Are, there's people that are really good at golf. I just turned 24 and I'm ready to go. You said 27, 25, and 24. I've heard those in the past couple of days. Mm, no. You said 27 no. over text to Listen, me. Listen, you have had a lot of beers. You said 27 over text to me and I said, How am I older than you? You've had a lot of beers. How old are you? I don't, somewhere around there. Uh, around those 20s. So you're fucking with me. 20s. Right. Yeah, I just, I just turned 31. Big boy. See, at least at least I got you though. That made me feel good. I mean, sure, yeah, take it. Because you were like, "Oh my god, you look so good for your age." That was that. That <laughs> what, what? What are you checking the time for? I actually just do that out of oh, instinct okay. for no oh, reason. Okay, okay. It, I, does, I haven't wound this since I got it. What is it? It's a bre- Breitling. Breitling. Hmm. Twenty twenty days. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Either. Um, yeah, I think I think you sold me though. I think you sold me. At what percentage of of golf games that you go to are you are you golf playing? games? Are you, golf matches? Golf pitches? tournaments? 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 It's always tournaments. Yeah, you never play casually. What are you are you talking? Well, you said go to. So I'm playing or am I watching? You're playing. Oh, always tournaments. You're just going to a round. No, You're just going, going to go a going round. To play, a round. To play a round of golf. Play a round of golf. How often is there bets on the side? Seventy mm. five. It just depends on the group. Dep- mm. It depends if you're going by yourself. You go with Matt tomorrow. Probably not because it's our first time. Uh, okay. You know, it, typically you want to just feel it out a little bit. Okay. And get to know their game. You also have to incorporate handicaps and all that stuff into it. That's mm. a whole new conversation. That's actually too complicated to try to explain yeah. to you. But okay, you yeah. got to feel it out a little bit. You don't want to go in with money games because it does get intense and it yeah, kind of fucks up casual. the vibes. Like I've fucked up the vibes of golf days because if you're playing bad and you're losing and you're losing money, golf will fuck with you so badly. Yeah. It is the most. It'll, it'll tear you down to a very, very low point. Okay. And that's what I do to relieve my stress from Apex. <laughs> it's tear yourself down to yeah, a low oh, point. Oh, yeah. It just oh, gets okay. so dark in my head. So how would, how would I be able to gamble at Top Golf having never played? That's the thing. It's like, There's game modes. Mm, there is. Yeah. You sink. Uh, we never play them. I usually just try to hit the back net. Yeah. I, mean, I haven't done it yet. Really? I rolled there once. It that's rolled tight. there once. It was a good hit. You Bang know those hit, 
this hits or you you hit it, uh-huh. and it it doesn't even feel like the ball hit. Yeah, sweet spot, baby. <laughs> that was it. Flushed that's what I did. it. That's what they say. You flushed, flushed it. it. I flushed, flushed it, it right down the toilet. Cured it. Striped right it right down the fucking toilet. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so how's the content going? How's two cheese off? Um, it's good. The numbers aren't like necessarily there for all the videos, but we've had some bangers. Okay. And like the thing is, I don't really have any. Um, expectations for it because it's kind of my side thing at this point a little are you, bit. Are you saying that? No, I. It, it, it. The golf thing is a release for me. It's what I enjoy doing. Right. And as long as it's making me happy to make the content, I'm not going to put goals out there and like try to stress about it. It okay, just makes okay. me happy. So that's what I'm. That's what I'm doing for it. So we've had some bangers. Other videos don't do well, which kind of sounds familiar because that's probably every content creator on the face of the planet, probably mm-hmm. except mm-hmm. for probably one. It's going it's going well. I mean, I have a lot of connects. I know pretty much everyone that's big in the scene. Yeah. So that's good. I got my foot in the door having the uh, the clout that I built up from the gaming. Yeah. So, I mean, I have a lot of connects. You know, we have a lot of things planned in the future, and it's only going to get bigger, hopefully. So How do you think the, transi- how do you think the transition of, uh, of audience has gone? Because there's a bunch of you guys that have clout from gaming that play golf, and I, but who knows how many audience members there are. I think it's going I think it it's perfect for my community for the most part because my demographic is a lot of dudes who would have thought it's about 99% fellas that are yeah. age 18 to I think 40. Like a lot of like 30 plus year olds watch me with children and I'm like That's like the peak of life I've heard. Them? The 30 plus age right. peak of life the, the, that that uh that decade I heard is like the best years of your life. That's when everything happens, and you're like, you know, you're at your physical peak, you're at your sexual peak, you're at your uh, financial peak. Are you trolling? Yeah, no, I've heard that. Haven't you heard that, Matt? Yep, yeah, that's what they say. That's what they say. 30 yeah. plus. That's right when you're 28, everyone starts saying that. Who are y'all talking? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fucked up. Yeah, um, but I got a lot of dudes that watch me, and right. as long as you have a group of dudes, sports are always going to fit in somehow. It's true. So they meshed. I mean, obviously, it's not a full transition of 100% here, 100% yeah, there, yeah, yeah. but I got a pretty good. And That's I've gotten good. I've gotten a lot of people into golf because I watch it during Apex Q times all the time. People ask questions, and I've gotten a lot of people into golf. Like A lot of people tell me, like, they ask me to get my first set. What do you recommend? Blah, 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 blah. Just played my first round. Just went to the driving range. Someone told me last night he, like, he went to Top Golf and he was like hitting it well and he was like, I'm fucking hooked. And I was like, that, <sighs> that gets me. He's just teed off. So though. bricked. He's teed off. Yeah. Mm. So it's cool. Growing the game is great. Yeah. It's already such a big game, though. Mm. Growing the game it within gaming is fun. Lost me. It's got to be fun. You lost me. It's got to be fun. You, what is it? Who you, who you golf with? Nade? Uh, Doc? Haven't, haven't, haven't golfed with Doc yet. Really? I need to. It's fun. He, him out of character is a great guy. I know. I met him at a tournament. He's a sweetheart. He's such a sweetheart. He's like... Such he's shy, he's so unassuming, super yeah. I, shy. I, I like went up to him and I was like, I was kind of being like a little like <laughs> bravado, yeah, yeah. and I was like, my sweet boy, yeah, he, no, he, 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 super, he was super nice, he's super nice. It's like my dream guest, on and, here. He could, Besides, and he could break my spine at any moment if he wanted to, physically, mm-hmm. yeah, 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 not with his paint, like you know, fighting. I get you, I get you, no, I get you, well, probably both, but um, yeah, so he golfs. I mean, who, what other gamers? There's not make, many, not many, not many. There's Nate Hill, there's Nade, Tim, Golf, okay. Casify. Okay. There's gonna be some that I forget. Right, right, right. But so there's you're not, not gonna, too many. You're not many. gonna make the the golf the phase clan of golf. No. Get them all together. Mm-mm. Throw up gang like fake gang signs. It's a gentleman's game. We don't do that. Mm. Cheers, 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 cheers. Par, birdie, eagle. Uh-huh. I know my shit. I know my shit. Mm-hmm. What do you think is a better uh, a better way to network within gaming? Drinking with people or playing golf with people? The thing about golf is you can do both at the same time. Imagine that. That's a suck up. You can. Yeah. So you think golf? Golf's a great, it's actually a great business tool. I don't know if you've seen like an entourage when they golf, but like oh yeah, when you take out, like when you go golfing with, I don't know, like corporate members or something like that, it's a great way to network. It's just the way it is. You book a nice course for people yeah. that you're trying to get, I don't know business terms, but you're trying to get their money. Right. So you book a nice course for them. Okay. You, the front nine's a little stressful. You're just having small talk. The cargo comes around hole seven. You get a yeah. drink inside. You hit the turn. Little grease missile mm-hmm. inside you. Another drink. Now seduction. we're flowing. Now okay. we're flowing. Now we're talking business. Boom. Yes. How many you've la- you've landed deals that way? No. Oh, in the future. I don't do that. Mm. What well, what deals am I landing? I don't know. Like this one. 
<laughs> being on the golf, road. Golf has actually gotten me pretty far in life. I can't lie. Really? Yeah. More I've than, made a lot of connections through golf. More than networking through like going to bars and stuff. Because I've that's the way I've I when I, whenever I first got into esports, um, a guy comes up to me, and I asked him how I was, I was such a scrub, such a noob. I was asking the simplest questions. I was I was this was five years ago, so I was nineteen, and uh, I'm I'm asking him. I'm like, um, you know, what's the <laughs> best? Hold on, <laughs> did you sneak that in? What? Five years ago, nineteen. You know, I was nineteen. He's I don't. Quick. I, he almost slipped it by me too. <laughs> I can't remember how that was long ago it was, but. Uh, I asked him, I was like, what's the way to, you know, make it in esports? I want to make it. Yeah. And he was like, what you trying to make it? He was like, go to the bar and drink with people. Mm -hmm. Like, you have to get as drunk as you can with people. And I went, there's, I hadn't drunk, drank at that point. And uh -huh. I was like, there's no way that's true. And now I have a fucking podcast called Around the Bar where we drink. Cheers. That's tight. So when's Around the Teas coming? The the pod the podcast. I was gonna do an interview series, but I just like haven't done it yet. Really? Yeah. In the in the golf cart? Yeah, I mean you could. People have done it before. It's uh, like cart talks. Like there's one cart talks. Mm. Like Hannah from Barstool does that. I mean, if you're sitting mm. in a golf cart for four hours with someone, obviously you could ask some questions. Right? Yeah. But like you don't have to. Every every cart cam is kind of like its own interview itself. It doesn't have to be interview format like super serious. But it's you're still like talking. It's casual talk. Casual talk. What is an interview but conversation? True. It's kind of like the fake taxi of like golf, kind of. Fake Backs taxi? Backseat, going hole to hole. Is it, what's the one with the money? You remember that show? Money Talks? No. The I, mean, I don't know. Cash Cab. Cash Cab. That show was a banger. You never watched it? I don't think so. Such a good show. The host was fantastic. I hope he's doing well and alive. Mm, me too. It's a great show. <laughs> me too. It was a great show, dude. <laughs> You're tripping. How have you not seen Cash Cab? I haven't. Have you seen Cash Cab? Oh, yeah. Banger. Mm -hmm. What Banger. is Cash Cab? I'll pull it up. Because I think Money Talks might be the porn version of Cash Cab. I think you said Fake Taxi, which is the porn. Yeah, that was that was the original bit. I said Fake Taxi at, knowing it was porn. Oh. And then you said, what's the money version? And I said, the money version. I've watched too much porn. <laughs> <laughs> What is this? That's the man. That's the guy right there. Dude, he's a stud, isn't he? So what's he do? He gets in the cab and talks to people? No, he asks um, trivia questions that get harder and there's more. Like he has a... Oh, shit. It's like a, like so a they game have a show. They have a destination. And okay. so based on how long their destination is, like he is ripping questions as fast as nice. possible. And they have like one light. They have two lifelines maybe. And you try to rack up money. And at the end, there's a big like double or nothing question. Oh, shit. And it's awesome. It's a great show. Oh, so you, you wanted to run something like this. Or you wanted more podcast or more? How often do you think about content? Let me ask you. That. I've never thought about it once. Really? I just, I just, you just, le you I just, just live. I just breathe, dude. You live and they come. I just, I don't know how I've gotten to where I'm at right That's now. That's insane. But I did. That's so. so you, I've gotten quite lucky because I'm the laziest fucker you'll ever meet. So you're not like in, you're not in like group DMs talking about thumbnails, talking about pace of videos, oh, average dude, watch time. Dude, you're high. <laughs> You're a high person. You don't talk about sub boxes or like how you're going to. You're a high person. And speaking of high, let's talk about our sponsor today. <laughs> <laughs> Allow me to interrupt the podcast for just a split second to talk about Center. And while I'm talking, you guys get to watch Austin Cox make some wonderful drinks behind the bar that includes Center Sparkling CBD. There's a bunch of different products that Center offers. We got the sparkling water in the, the regular in the black can or the sugar-free in the white can. We've got the instant powders as well, three different flavors of those. Relax, recover, and also balance. Go to findyourcenter.com and also follow them on Instagram at findyourcenter. Around the Bar is presented by Center. Center offers all natural hemp-derived CBD beverages with premium ingredients to help you find clarity and focus in your everyday life. At your bar, Center can be a great addition to your mixed drinks. Center can also offer a tasty alcohol alternative. A favorite mix of mine is the unsweetened CBD sparkling drink with the pomegranate flavored relaxed CBD powder. Definitely go check that out. Take a sip, take a moment and find your Center. Use the code OPTIC25 for 25% off of your first order today. Thank you guys so much for listening to me ramble and for watching Austin mix up that wonderful CBD track. All right, guys, back to the pod. <laughs> so you're the only person out of those 10 people that have done that. 
Shout out to you. Except, no, Mystic did. Shout out to Center. Shout out to Center. If you want to talk thumbnails, get your business right, <laughs> succeed in life, find your Center with CBD Center products. So how the fuck? Yes, see, thank that, you. See, and that's also, how I, that's thank how you so I do much. It. I just think of shit. Thank you so much to Center. Um, how the fuck have you made it? I don't know. This far. I don't know. Without even thinking. That's like, you know, like uh, Johnny Menzel. I know. My, yeah, I'm friends with him. Are you really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, well, not to shit talk him, but you know, going around, he was saying he, the NFL, he got in the NFL, he never watched game film, and he was still the first like... first 15 words of that sentence were all one, but yes, I got the point. You yes. got the point? Yes. That's kind of like you. Mm-hmm. You never watch game film. Yeah. You just stud. play. I'm okay with the Johnny Manziel comparison. And you just play. I just grind, dude. Whether it's golf, whether it's Apex, whether it's Call of Duty I don't really grind golf, I just play it. I don't practice. What you see is yeah, what but, you get. That's what, that's what I'm. That's the comparison. Yeah, but he I mean, I grinded Apex though. You did grind Apex a lot. Do you miss the grind? I like the grind actually. I do. Yeah. When I because I'm like out of town so much nowadays that it's hard to lock into a grind. Mm -hmm. but like, if I'm in town for two weeks, I get in the rhythm of streaming like 12, 13 hours a day, and I like I like putting myself towards something. You like the twelve hour, thirteen hour streams, mm -hmm. but you don't. Well, not anymore because Apex is miserable. Right, you don't but love. Back in the day, dude, I was like, yeah, let's get this fucking bread. I, did, did you hit like a, I think the first time I had ever seen you, and I, and then, uh, you know, like you see a clip of somebody, and then like three years later, you find out who they are, and you're like, oh, I think I remember like one random, uh -huh. that was kind of like what happened. Did you hit like some crazy yeah. trick shot with, oh, yeah. the, with the Magnum? Or oh, with the, the Wingman? The Wingman? That was filthy. That was the first time I, because. That was a filthy one. We started playing Apex, and in, in Call of Duty, all we do is pretty much like, fuck around and play and try to style and shit sick and then we played apex and no one everyone was like you can't I'm really you can't style bang, too hard in apex bang, bang. yeah apex is oh, serious dude pop, pop them, pop them. Pop them. I, got, I got i got purple shields it was that i got purple shields and then i saw your clip and i was like holy shit someone did something thank you do you have that clip can you pull it up that one's gonna be hard to find Really? That one's gonna be hard to find. It was your, it was your, it was on your Twitter is when I saw it. I yeah. think you were in sore still. Yeah, and it's so blurry on Twitter, Purple. and that's the only clip I have of it. I oh, don't have the shit. original file. Oh well. Good luck. Yeah, he's look at him, bro. He's he's locked. That's gonna in. that's gonna take about ten minutes. He's locked in. I mean, it's probably on some montages, but then you <clears> have to go through the whole thing. So you, I even went to your your YouTube channel. It clicked oldest, mm. which is like a, it's like a, it's it's such a low hanging fruit trick. If you want to ask somebody, click on the YouTube channel, f deep dive. I like that. And your dude, your first video is an Apex video. I was expecting some like mm -hmm. nine, ten years ago. No. I've been doing this forever. No, you just hopped on, played Apex, boom, millionaire. I blew up within. I streamed Fortnite for a bit for the fellas because I was good at Fortnite back when being good at Fortnite was important. For the fellas, does that mean through Discord? Does that mean on Twitch? Not just the fellas, like my college boys. Because I was, like, racking up dubs, and that was, like, when dubs were, like... Dude, the best. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, like... The best. Oh, my God. <laughs> Just, like, lob it on lob it on Snapchat. Like, you're sweating, dude. You're screaming. Like, yes. I, I was I was getting a bunch of them. Like, I was ripping solos, and I was, like, murdering it. Okay. Because I'm a gamer, mm -hmm. right? So then they were, like, you should start streaming. So I did, and I did that for maybe, like... Four or five months, nothing came of it. Oh shit! That's, He's look really at, like look that. Look at that qual. He's really like that. He is like that. I mean, look this at that. This is the first clip I ever saw. This is filthy, though. I can't even cap. Boom, dude. Oh, yeah. Yes. Phase up. Bop. Light work. No reaction. No reaction. Yeah, that was demon. That was a demon touche right there. That was, that was a demon. The, that was a dorm room, probably fourteen hours a day on average. And I've heard you claim this, and you can double down here, or you can tell the truth. Oh. No PEDs during that time. No PEDs. No PEDs. No Adderall makes me sad. Same, but I still took it a lot. I definitely I took Adderall all the time in college, playing Black Ops Three, just <laughs> ripping pubs like Nuketown. <laughs> Bro, I was dropping. I was dropping like one forty and like three, just like <laughs> just tweaking. tweaking, bro. Yeah, I used to take it all the, when we played GBs for Black Ops Three. Me and my boys, we'd have lands. Yeah, and keep in mind we're twenty years old. Okay, so we'd have lands at twenty years old in our yeah, dorm yeah. room. No bitches. Oh, we're ripping Adderall, <laughs> ripping it. Just playing but I, each I, other. Like, I took it. Yeah, we're just playing game battles. Oh, oh, playing. Okay, you're playing game. So we're playing four v four search. Yeah, I mean we're ripping it like hard. Yeah, but I took too much of it, and then like my body was like. 
I don't like this anymore. Got sad. I stop. Yeah, I, I was switched not, to SSRIs. Was or not just... was not on Adderall there at yeah. all. I was motivated by the money. Motivated by the money. Why don't you start you seeing the numbers come up? Like you're like, whoa, this is really cool. See, when I saw the numbers I come had up, no money then, and I was like, this is this is tight. Yeah, when I saw the money come up, that unfortunately is when I took more. What do you mean? Oh, more Adderall, and then I got more sad, and then the money <laughs> came down, and then I came down with it, and now I'm three years I'm three years off it. Atta yes, boy. but. Boy. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, it, it you when uh, as soon as I hear anything past twelve hours, I think oh they're they're teed out of their mind. No, it's just like they're teed off. They're I, lo- teed I, off. I mean, I loved it. Yeah, yeah like yeah. this was like it was just fun. It was just fun. And it would pe- keep in mind it was peak COVID. I got nothing to fuck. That do. that clip is peak COVID. Yeah, like when I started was like pretty much all COVID, all like serious COVID. Oh, yeah, like shit. that that room was very much peak COVID. Okay, so. What the fuck else? Yeah, am I what are you? What like, are you I, doing? I love the game. My stream is growing every single day. I'm making money and I'm having fun. And Donnie's handing and out. Why would I not fucking stream as much as I can? Donnie's handing out stimmy checks, and the the chat is just blasting it on you. Uh, just every shotgun beer, boom. I wasn't really drinking that much then. Really? Yeah. So when when did when did the watch party start? Not till later. So I being. I think me and Nicewig were the biggest console creators at the time because we were still on console until season three. Actually, no, he was on he was on controller, but on PC the whole time. But me and him were the biggest controller content creators in early Apex. So y'all were fighting it. Y'all were duking it out. Sort of beef. Like like viewer viewer, I was always keeping an eye on him for Ooh. sure. Always. You think he was keeping an eye on you? Or he doesn't really. Probably care. He's the sweetest kid ever. He doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> okay. I I was I okay. was though, but he definitely was not. He's okay. Way okay. too nice for that. Um. But then, so being in the position that I was, I had a lot of power over the controller players in the community. So I would host my own scrims. So we'd all queue up at the same time in a pub match on a different server. Like, I would GCE3. So every sweaty fucker that was on controller on PlayStation, what was it? Was it PlayStation? Yeah, probably. Um, We'd all join up. And I thought I was good. Until you until you start getting tweakers right. from all over the states, insane. And then you're like, I'm not nearly as good as I thought. Yeah. So I'd play the scrims, I'd host the scrims, but I would always die early, <laughs> and early and often. <laughs> I'd get ran the fuck down. Keep in mind we're on console, so aim assist is sticky. Yeah. So yeah, you yeah. just get one clip and you die. So I'd always die in like 17th. Right. And I was like, well, fuck, dude. What I got to keep my chat entertained. Yeah. So I just start commentating, and I have a natural gift at that. Of yapping, of just fucking yapping the and just color yapping. color commentating, doing whatever. So, right. the, so that's the, how the casting born. came from me sucking. Yeah, that's how it came for us too. Yeah, and then I was like, and then I just started doing the real ALGS casting, and that was fun, real fun. Those were for good a times. Bit. It was like a, like two years. <laughs> oh damn, really? Well it, well, it was like back like ALGS has grown so much. There's so many fucking tournaments nowadays. Back yeah, in the yeah, day, yeah. there used to be like one every, I don't know, two months maybe, give okay. or take. So like I could gear up and like do that because it's fun everyone's yeah. looking forward to the tournament but now there's one every week true true there's a bunch of, and it's is it all lgs tournaments no, there's so many creator, just, there's just creator tournaments creator tournaments you like know about those. third party tournament yeah i do i'm like the, i'm like the only one that throws creator no tournaments in college. i was get, i was ta- thinking about this last night no one gives you enough flowers i don't think people might but you do a lot for the community and i'm not even in the community but you do a lot i try my best yeah you for do some reason job, for, for some reason there's a in in I don't know if it's like this in Apex. You'll have to tell me. But it seems like Apex and Valorant, they have like a lot of community tournaments. They bring in Foosley and Lily Pichu, Ludwig, they, for, and for Val. And in Apex, they bring in, you know, like dog shit creators like you and Nicewig and like uh, other. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, other, like creators that uh-huh. aren't like grinding out scrims eight hours a day. Yeah. In Call of Duty. It, for some reason, like the the really hardcore Call of Duty fans, mm-hmm. every year when the game drops and I announce a creator tournament, they're like, "Ugh, this guy again, this guy again!" Like bringing in like fucking Daltouche to play. Like, why? I mean, we want to see it. we want to see Shotzi play. I get yeah, I get that. You do? I get that because I mean, it's like rivals, like Apex rivals. There's always like fifteen fucking like, who are you? Uh, and what are you doing playing this? Okay, okay. That's kind of where I would fit in, maybe. Right, but like, but like these people. There's other streamers besides FPS streamers. So like any FPS streamer, like I get it. But like if you're a, what's another game? What's a what's a non FPS game? 
Hearthstone. Yeah, people they bring in Hearthstone streamers to Apex Rivals, and I'm like, I'm like, there's just some like Apex grinder out there with like a hundred viewers who's been playing since day one who deserves a shot at it and has never got it, and they just bring in fucking Hearthstone.com with true 2K viewers every stream to play, and it's like that sucks. Yeah. Okay, I I do get that, and I I do respect that, but I also think Call of Duty, like whenever, and and maybe it's different for Apex, but the. the Whenever you bring in other creators, like there's got to be some sort of like overlap of audience, or maybe like the audience will like stick around and be like, "Oh shit, Touche is playing with Nade Shot." I've heard that name, Nade Shot. I've heard that name, Scump. Who is and dropped? We know dropped because we watched Touche. Who is Scump and Nade Shot? Maybe we should watch some COD, or maybe some Scump and I Nade mean, your fans. Heads, your head's in the right place. Dude. Are like, who? This Touche guy is really funny. What does he play? Apex. I think oh, you're just go. you're just venting right now. I am venting, yeah. but it's chill, dude. I'm here to support you. But what I'm saying is is. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying anymore. You've got me fucked up. It's the eyes, man. You give me the fucking... The eyes, Chico. You give me the... Are you, you're still yapping. <laughs> <laughs> you're still fucking talking. <laughs> um, so the Apex grind starts. You're banging out 12 hours a day streams. Do you know how I came up and like got my notoriety? Yeah, you played on day one. You got a bunch of fucking kills. You got the number one kill spot. And then people started watching you. You just kind of glazed over that. Number one kill spot? In the world. In 2003? 2004? What, what year was this? 2003. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I was seven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you got number one kill spot. Yeah, within like five months of the game. Congratulations. Yeah, so that's how I got it. For those who didn't know, I feel like I'm not gassing myself, but for those who didn't know, that's how I came up and got up. Right, right, right. Yeah. You came up. You, how many how many viewers are you averaging while you're gra while you're grinding after you got number one kill it spot? It was like it went from I started on Fortnite, so it was like seven viewers with Commander Root and like all the bots. Hell yeah! And then like two of my friends Nightbot. for five minutes a day and Nightbot. Right. And then like once I hit like maybe top hundred, it was like maybe twenty viewers, and then the next day thirty five, the next day fifty, two hundred, blah 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 blah. And bam 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 bam. Yeah. And then whenever you start hosting these lobbies, and then you start finding your love for I don't know love but you start commentating it was fun it was very fun so did you like grinding more and did you like the commentary grinding was I just felt like it had to be I was going nowhere in my life so right. I had to do it it was no questions asked I was doing nothing in college I hated school yeah it's not that I'm stupid I just hated everything about school like the institution did you graduate? no dropped out yeah same dropped out like a real one yeah bro <laughs> anyone who graduated what are you doing <laughs> I'll wipe my ass with that piece of paper, really. <laughs> um, yeah. No. Now, grinding, it had to be done. Like, I had no other option, so I was like, I have to make this work or else I'm a fuck up. That's yeah. what, it, that's what it was like. It was like, if I don't do this, I'm going to be a loser. Yeah. And that's not what I am. And you're not a loser. You fucking did not it. Not now, not ever. And you did it. I mean, did it. So what was, the, what, was your, what was the biggest passion point for you? You hit the, you hit the grind, and you loved it, and then you... Realize that you start these watch parties. Passion point was grinding for sure. Really? Because it was fueled by like failure. So if you could go back and relive it, which one are you reliving? The grind or the I did both. start of the watch party? I wouldn't relive the grind. Are you fucking crazy? <laughs> <laughs> what? Do you think I'd pick the grind over drinking beers and talking? <laughs> That's what I was trying to get to. Yeah, no. Uh, That's what I was trying to get no, to. I was miserable. I lost 25 pounds. That's why I asked about that. Even. No, I didn't. I just didn't it have. Just I didn't have money. No money. I was just drinking fucking caffe like so much caffeine, and yeah. over like six months of playing 16, 17 hours of Apex a day. The thing is, if you eat food, you get a little sleepy. You get less kills. You don't succeed. That's, That's insane. It. Yeah. Don't take that as advice. No one's listening to this for advice in the first place. But if you happen to, do be you not get lethargic after you eat? No, I you get do. Horrible at gaming after I eat. Really? So I eat once in the morning. Seventeen hours later, I'd go to bed. I'd wake up. I check the leaderboards. I would jack off, and then I'd go back. <laughs> you got you got the what was it the fucking? Mm -hmm. mm, how many times have you beaten? <laughs> Twice a day. Uh, uh, so you you literally one meal a day, one big meal. Money in the bank account at this not point. E not even like back when. Getting to the actual like slot on the leaderboards where I was getting viewers took a lot. I was just not eating. Is that still? Because that's not a thing in Call of Duty. I've noticed that. There's there's a guy. Uh, his name's Gummins. Really good. He got number one leaderboard on both multiplayer and Warzone. 
Wow. Mo- number one on both. Dude, if somebody did that What's in Apex. What's his dosage? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know him very well. Uh, I don't know if he does have dosage. But if somebody did that in Apex, they'd have 2,000 viewers. 2,000? That's it? Or more. Or more. Or way more. <laughs> I mean, like, are we talking about right now or like back in its peak? Both. I bet you both. Oh, well, it, it still, regardless, would be this, would be different than it is in Call of Well, it'd Duty. be impossible because ranked wasn't a thing when I was kill grinding. The only way you could get noticed in Apex in the early days was Kills. either having an established audience already, like when like Summit was playing or Shroud, Shroud was yeah. hopping on. Like They get viewers because mm-hmm. they have an audience already because they're streamers. But for me, I was like, there's only one way to do this. And I wasn't even planning on succeeding until the leaderboards dropped. They dropped like two weeks after the game came out, and I was playing it nonstop because it was fucking awesome. Yeah. And it dropped, and I was like, I was like a hundred twentieth, and I was like, You're like, I can, I can do I this was shit. Like, oh, hold on. You haven't even been trying. And I just, yeah, I fucking put my head down and went the skin, brother. We, uh, we, we were playing whenever the game, cause you know, it had, had like a weird drop. There was like a, oh, it was a surprise. It was like a twelve-hour stream where like it was just a stagnant part of Kills or Kings Canyon. And you're just like, oh, really? I didn't, I didn't know this. Yeah. So Courage calls me one day and says, yo, yo, just so you know, tomorrow EA is releasing a battle royale and it's 3v3 or it's trios. And there had never been a trios battle royale. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what? Oh my God. TST is next up. We're going to be the biggest thing in the world. (laughs) (laughs) It's threes. I didn't mean to laugh that hard. You laughed really hard. (laughs) Did you notice how hard he laughed? I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> OMG TST next up blazing. It was just that. a funny sentence. Uh, I, I was like, okay. And I called Blake and George and said, yo, by the way, tomorrow EA is releasing a trios battle. Royale. Can you believe it? A trios. We don't have to squad fill anymore. And, um, so we watched like a stagnant, uh, it was like a, it was like a screenshot, like video rotating video of a, a random place on Kings Canyon. And then, like every fifteen minutes, something would happen. Huh. So the three of us I never just saw that. The three of us just sat and watched that s- screen, oh, no. and had like fifteen hundred viewers, which is twice as much, three times as much as we had in, at the, in those days. Wow. So we're like, we're gonna play the shit out of this because like people You're are right watching it. us. Yeah, and we got to uh, Blake would Blake will tell you when he gets back, but I think we were like top three of like highest kills in the first week. Nice. Like, like, like in one game. So you got beat. Oh. So like we had like seventy kills or some shit. I can't, I can't remember. You said seventy. It's probably not seventy. I'm thinking well, Warzone. Sixty in the lobby. So. Oh, so so you thirty. Had twenty. Yeah, twenty five maybe. Because there was no because re- yeah twenty yeah. tops. Twenty five was crazy back then. Was it really? Everyone sucked. Except us. We actually have a we actually have an Apex montage. You should watch it. I won't. It's uh. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's, it's one thing I won't do is lie. Yeah. Well, you should watch it. Lie to me real quick. I was actually I was actually pulling it up last night, but but you didn't have time to watch it. Internet went out. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, It's yeah. So uh, it it was it's a it was a really crazy drop. You play it, and then the leaderboard comes out. You grind, and then that's how you made it. So yes, I do know how you made it. You want another drink? Yeah, we go on tangents here, don't we? How long do these normally last? Uh, longest ones like what? Two 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 hours fifteen minutes, right? Something like that. Yeah, two two and a half. Two fifteen. Matt, do you, you have a question right now but while I make the drink for Touche? I know you got many, a lot of Touche questions, yeah? I'm be not something. really prepared for these questions. Come on. I'm just like really you know focusing. Why? You know why? It's because you haven't d- been prepared for anything in my whole life. You haven't. Look, and look at me. You haven't had enough of your drink. That's true. I that's think that's true. what it is. I mean, this, I'm pretty close. This I'm is, pretty close. Oh, my God. Yeah. Wait, you have, you have taken it down a, a little bit. I have no room for OJ. It's fine. No room for OJ? We'd like to give a big thank you to our second sponsor of the evening, Simple. That's not okay. Simple, the Counter-Strike guy? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just thick, dude. So what, if you were to put into words the difference between Apex, the Apex community as a whole and the Call of Duty community, because you said you were grinding out Black Ops 3, you're recently a Call of Duty champion, uh, what are the biggest differences in the community that you've, that you've seen? COD is much more passionate on their pro scene. I've noticed that. The really? COD pro scene is sick. Really? It's, it's so sick. Uh-huh. I have a newfound respect for all of it. The fans are great. 
they're very committed. What ga- what gained you that respect? Like what what happened? Uh, just like in the past couple, like the past year, probably just getting into it. I went to a couple like majors and stuff oh, like shit. that, and just kind of oh, yeah, you went to the optic major, yeah, and playing in like the tournaments, and then following some people playing with Scump, obviously stuff like that. Yeah, the fans are sick, dude, especially y'all's, and like I love the. Um, what do you call it? Just I don't know when people trade each other. What do you call it? the roster mania? Roster mania, yeah, yeah. That shit's like it's like a real sport. It's cool. Yeah, yeah. Never. It, kn- it's sick. And from it, a third person, like outside perspective, it's cool to see all that shit happen and people actually give a fuck and like. Yeah. And the COD scene is really tied in with like their drama too. Like when players are talking shit, like they're all in on it. Like I really? love the beef players have with each other, stuff like that. It's great. That's and it's healthy. It's hilarious you said that because that's where I was headed. Yeah. I was gonna say. It do, it seems like Apex is more drama focused. Yeah, that's clear. Look at the difference. Well, you got OJ. I, I did. Oh, true, true, true. And, uh, and a lot of tequila as well. <coughs> that I see. I, I it seems like it seems like Apex is more drama drama based than COD is. Because I looked up you. I looked you up. Like, you know, just let's click down to just go through all of his stuff. Two T's off. Let's go over his YouTube channels. Maybe see if any interviews, podcasts he's done. Why? That was rude. Jesus. I didn't know it was going to go that crazy. <laughs> That's the third time I've ever done that. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, and, bro, it seems like every clip, at, they're like, there's a bunch of like community, like, can you believe Dropped said this about... Yeah, there's a... Mm. I mean, I think people just... It's not even like a community thing. I think it's just people. It's just people. It's just the, like the internet. So so that those like community channels don't represent Apex. Well, Apex definitely is very drama. Is like it? F- they love it. They love. I the think drama. people just love drama because they're fucking bored. Yeah. And I don't I don't ever chime in on anything like that. It's just like if it doesn't affect me, I'm not gonna go out of my way to put someone down or do anything like that. But yeah. Yeah. I mean, COD's like that. COD gets pretty crazy. It does. Well, we have we have loud personalities. We always have. So do I. And uh, yeah, but you're. Not that Say I know it. of. You're not as much of like a, a raw like dick to people. Are well, you? Uh, back in the day, dude, when I was grinding, bro, and some fucking M&K kids would kill me, dude. Yeah. I was oh, really? Dick. Yeah, I was very mean. Who I, was like an M&K guy you would go after? Oh, uh, Rogue. Fucking Rogue. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, Rogue. He's, yeah, he's so nice, too. Yeah. I, I love him. We're friends now. I've, I've gotten a lot better, but like during like my grind, I was very toxic. I was like a COD kid. Yeah. It was all. It well, was you all, were a cod kid. It was all. Yeah. It, it was all just like talking shit after you after you die. It mm-hmm. wasn't like going out of your way like seven hours after True. a stream to talk shit. It's just like you die, you talk shit, go next. You know. Yeah. When I, I'm 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 on YouTube, clicked all two or I typed all two, and I'm scrolling down. Whoa. Dope. You would think that you and fucking from outside looking in, based on these community channels, you would think that you and Hal like hate each other, like pure hatred. Nah. No. I got I got respect for him. He's not the coolest kid I've ever I've ever talked to, but right, I, right. I can always I will always tip my cap to Hal. He's a hard worker. He's very successful. Yeah. He's got a great work ethic. He puts his head down. He wins. He wins. I will always tip my cap to him. He is a fucking nerd, though. You can clip that. Yeah. Well, yeah. I've, I've heard you say it. Multiple yeah. He's times. a nerd. He's a nerd, and he knows it. But he's a successful a successful nerd doing much better than me financially <laughs> and he's, he's doing great and I will always respect how 100%. Okay, so it's not so n- maybe not everything that is clipped is all just drama induced no clickbait like some, some I mean, truth. we're still boys some I mean truth. we're boys oh you guys are boys yeah so your drinks at the bar boys you- he doesn't he doesn't really do that like you sometimes guys are, we drank together and it's like it's fun. Like he's a good kid. He's just not me. Like we just have different personalities. We're different people. When I used to drink with Crimson, he would talk about Search and Destroy game 5. Is that kind of how Hal is? He would talk about rotation. Uh, when, whenever we have an outing of Apex people, they it, somehow, some way, Apex always gets brought up. It's like we all have that common ground, and I just sit there and I'm like, "What the fuck, boys? Like, I don't want to hear about it." Can we talk about like fucking tits or something? Fucking fucking tits or like fuck just like, like just like fuck fuck. Tits, oh, okay, man. okay, okay. We just talk about anything else. It's a lot different visual. Yeah, I'm sure it's the same in COD. I mean, yeah. One time the boys lost game five, round 11, and then we sat in the bar and talked about game five, the round 11 for five hours. Five hours, the round, the uh, one yeah. round. That, those are the best conversations, though. I wasn't a part of I wasn't playing. I was just filming. That's fine. And I was just with them like, I know you guys lost. Can we like they move needed, on? They needed to have that. Yeah, it is a lot different playing, I'm sure. I'm sure. Did you ever have interest in playing? Were you, were you ever no, like... because back in the early... There was no money in Apex when it started. True. No, the tournaments were fucking... I was making more money doing watch parties than the winners were winning tournaments. 
I was I had my lane. I was chilling. Nowadays, thank God, Apex is caught up, and there's big prize pools, and there's a lot of competitors, and it's yeah. huge. ALGS is very big. Yeah, yeah. And that's great. And I'm not doing watch parties anymore. So, like, back in the day, though, why would I want to play when I could just fucking do what I'm very good at doing that people aren't really gifted with this mm. and drink and yap on my own stream and have it on my own terms <laughs> Yeah. with no one telling me what to do? As opposed to trying to grind and play and maybe get money. Because it was top one, two, three, get money, and that's it. And that's there's 20 it. teams. And top one is getting 5K split. And mm. that, that, those were big tourneys back in the day. Yeah. And I was getting, I don't know, maybe 1,500 subs every watch party. So you were just like, so you were like it's not worth it. No. Let's just, let's just watch. Let's just freaking watch. Let's just freaking, do you, do you miss it? No. You don't. I, I loved entertaining people. It was fun, but just I just grew out of it. I still enjoy doing it, but I just don't love the game as much anymore. So that's going to be reflective in my in yeah. my presentation. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I speak for a lot of people, and I watched a total of zero of your watch parties <laughs> live. But I watched a lot yeah, so of highlights. Internet, yeah. I watched a lot of highlights. We we miss them, man. Yeah, they tell me that all. The time. I have people all the time. I cannot imagine how often you get that. It's got to be infuriating. Every day. Is it infuriating? Every tournament. It's not infuriating. I'm going to get it. Yeah. But it's annoying, just like Twitch chat is. Of course. You fuckers are so annoying. Yeah, of course. Christ. I used to make a documentary series. Christ. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I used to make a documentary series for Optic and still it was I stopped my last episode was five years ago. And I still get when is it coming back? When are you gonna hop back on the camera? I'm like, it's the ship has sailed, man. Is that it's, what Shawston was doing? He took your spot? Uh I I, I gave him. I hear go him. puppy. Thank you. F L O R I D A. S T A D E. Florida State. My mom graduated from Florida State, so I have a little bit of knowledge. Really? A little bit of knowledge. Tight. Yeah, yeah. So I, I lived in uh I live in Panama City for a little bit, so we went to some Sorry about that. Some Tallahassee games. Sorry about that. Is that not good? It was I was I left when I was six, so did I don't you remember. Did you live in a hotel on the beach? No. Did we you, lived did you guys go to putt putt in a cold de sac. Putt putt and dirty Joe's? I don't remember. I, when I There's tell you, not I don't much remember. there is what I'm getting at. Really, really, really. Oh. It's a fun spot for two days. I actually think the house that I lived in got demolished by that hurricane. Rest in peace. Yeah. I, I'll always remember the tree in the front yard. Um, but yeah, uh, Shaw, that's, who, that's who does it. Shawson did it. Uh, our, our producer, Roger, did it. Matt helps Roger with that. And Shawson, I think. And uh, yeah, anyway, fuck it. That's what, uh, that's what people... People bring that shit up all the time. So I'm sure people bring up the watch parties every stream. Every stream. And you're like, and the more people bring it up, the more people bring it up, the less you want to do it. Yeah. Is that true? There, like there was a phase where I would just get bullied into it for months. I would just get bullied into it. So your last couple were not The thing is like my mentality is I'm streaming. Let's say back in the day, I got seven K viewers. I know there's a big tourney starting every, every competitor is getting on. Yeah, I want to keep my viewers, but no one's gonna fucking watch me play pubs <laughs> or ranked over the tournament. Over the tournament, yeah. And I'm just getting spammed for eight hours. It just it just chips away. Like I get on knowing that I'm not gonna do a watch party, and I just get fucking cut down, cut yeah. down, cut down. Bully, drink, drink, drink. My chat bullies me to drink all the time, and I I'm susceptible to it. Yes. So yeah, I would get bullied into watch parties a lot. Okay. And I would do it reluctantly, but then like four beers in, I'm like, oh, man, yeah, I like this. I'm having uh, fun. Yeah, this is this is exactly what I wanted to do today. <laughs> <laughs> like two shotguns in before the tourney starts, I'm like, you're like, this oh one, shit, this, yeah, this maybe wasn't a bad this, idea. Maybe this is my calling yeah, in this, life. Like, wasn't, uh, this was this is tight, chat. <laughs> and these are ALGS and tournaments. Like, yeah, and like seven hours later after the tournament, I'm like crying to chat because I'm 14 in. I'm just like, have you really cried on stream? Oh, I do. I well, I haven't cried on stream. I blacked out and whatever happened after that. <laughs> I mean, dude, yeah, bro, hell yeah. I fucking <laughs> cried on stream. I always oh, get, I, like, once I hit a certain point of drunk, I just get sappy, and that's a pretty common theme for everyone. For white dudes? Everyone. 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 Not everyone. Everyone. I get pretty sappy. You, but think, I don't... you either get sappy or you fight. I'm not a fighter. <laughs> you're not a fighter, you're no. a crier. Who am I going to fight in my room? Do you get, oh, do you, fi- do you fight, are you a fighter at bars, though? Or are you sappy at bars? Look at me. I can't. You think I'm swinging? Oh, oh you're sappy at bars, too? I don't get sappy all the time. I'm just saying, like, when you're getting showered with thousands of dollars no. and you have a bunch of people supporting you, you just kind of just, like, you're just like, you know what? Like, do you guys fucking, <laughs> like, this shit is, like, this shit. 
Blake, cu- Blake, cr- Blake cried for the first time on stream two weeks ago. What a pussy. Yeah. Where is he? Where is he? Call. Make sure. To Was tell he sober? Him. Yeah. Oh, that's tough. <laughs> Completely. So- <laughs> we were on a 6,000 sub that's train. Insane. Yeah. So that's a little. No, bad. that's tight. I, I'm not going to make fun of him for that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, Real men cry. Yes. Uh, and also, I'll watch like Kobe videos too. That gets you. I'll like intentionally pull up like most emotional sports <laughs> moments, and we'll just I'll just sit there with chat for like hours and watch sports things, and we'll just all watch Kobe highlights, and I'll just cry. <laughs> like Derek Jeter's last at bat, but I'll just cry. And like Tiger's Tiger's like last Masters win, just I'll just cry. The oh, the one where he was old. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a lot behind you, it, but sure. Do you think he still can do it? Win a tournament? It doesn't isn't there a guy above him? There's a lot of people. Everyone's above him now. He's not very good. He's been through too many injuries. No, I'm talking about one like of all time, like one more goat above him. Oh yeah, it's um. Wow, I'm a little drunk. Is it Arnold Palmer with more majors, or is it Nicholas? I think it's Nicholas with more majors. But no, Tiger's the goat, undisputed. Really? Yeah. Undisputed. Yeah. yeah okay. Nicholas has more majors. Mm-hmm. So you right. don't think he'll ever catch him? You think it's over? It's not he's a, a rat. Uh, he doesn't. He doesn't have to. He doesn't have to. He's the most dominant athlete of all time. As as we were filming this, like three two days ago, he left Nike. Yeah, much yesterday. like yesterday. the same. Was it the same day? Yeah, with Team they, Tiger's Wood yesterday when he left Nike. Oh, 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 that's not what I was thinking. But yes, that works too. Yeah. I thought it was when you left T, left TSM. No, it's like damn, that's crazy. It's like maybe you and Tiger. Like life's crazy. Life, life, is, like, life is really life fucking, is fucking. It's so nuts nards. when you really it's think nards, about it, dude. So, so twenty twenty is that the year that the watch party started, or are you just grinding the whole year? I did. I was still on console when the watch party started, and I, that was season zero, one, and two. Season so, zero watch parties? No, no, no. Season zero was grind. Season okay, okay. season one and two were watch parties, and still I was still grinding. Still, right, play, right, right. still playing ranked. Or yeah, ranked came out season one, I think. Yeah, I was still playing. I was pl- I was happily playing fourteen hours a day. It was COVID, bro. It was COVID. Jesus. It, it, yeah. Holy shit! I can't do anything. So 20, and I, and I, yeah, I have a way to make money. Like it was, it was fun. I loved it. Yeah. So twenty twenty is, it is when you started the watch parties. I think Apex came out in two thousand nineteen. So yes. So twenty twenty watch parties. Yeah, probably. I've probably I've just, late twenty nineteen and then into COVID. Yeah. I've just heard your numbers from twenty twenty, the year. That's the one you've been open about. And <laughs> do you remember being open about it, or are you fucking? Wait, what? <laughs> You've told uh, on on the record. You've said that you made one point four in twenty twenty. Oh, is that on CCA? Country I don't. Jason? It's on. It's on somewhere. Oh, Country Club with Jason. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That was Vegas like a month, like two months ago. I was fucking wasted. Oh, you, they didn't cut it. You hit them up. Like, no, I didn't. No, I didn't really. I mean, I I think it's okay to be transparent about the money. I think, you make. So. I, think it, I think it is like it, people could look at it as me trying to brag, but I was just being honest. There's a lot of. I think what you did is a lot better than acting like you're poor when you're really a multimillionaire. Yeah, I, I'm okay I, with being transparent. I think that's worse. Yeah, because there's a lot of there's a lot of streamers that before there was all of you guys, there was only a few, and those mm-hmm. few were not telling anyone how much they were making, and they were making a lot. Of money. <laughs> they were making a lot. Of Dude, money, money is tight. <laughs> Money rip. I, I had it one time. Money's so sick. In during same year, same year as year, I had it. I was, I was, was completely, so such a great uh, year. Completely captivated by money the first like two years, dude. Yeah. How can you not be? How did that affect your mental? Not too brain? much. I just checked it all the time. Every, oh, you checked every it every stream. I would check. See, I never every stream. It. I checked how much money I made, how many subs I got, and I would compare it to the next day or the last month, or the last week. I would compare it every single day. Oh my god! And you I would in, go month to month. You yeah. were in thick. You were in the thick. Yeah, bro. Just I, all I, money. I loved it. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with fucking making money. I That's was, true. I was getting it. You were getting it. I had to. And uh, what? so you literally go from seven viewers yeah. to $1.4 million in 13 months. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Well, no, I think I made 1.4 the, the year after. Oh, oh okay. It wasn't okay, the first okay. year. The first year was like still it relatively was grind. small. And okay. Then, and then okay, the okay. next year. That's so crazy. Was like but seasons f- like five through eight. Yeah. Nine. Uh, it, you, would you do it all, how you did it all over again? Or if you're you right now, do you go back and tell him something? Wouldn't change a thing. You really? Yeah. See, I would go back and say, hey, don't do a lot of the shit you're about to do. Don't I wouldn't do a change lot a thing. of it. No. 
save this shit and don't get rid of it or else you're going to be begging Matt to produce around the bar for a lot less than he should be making. Oh, well, my money's I, I manage my money well. Oh, do you? Yeah, my stepdad's a financial advisor. Oh, well, fucking hell. Yeah, I'm ty- I'm good. So you do you do you put on a you put on a vibe of like you're just like fuck it, I'm running it. Beers, golf, cars, one car. <laughs> <laughs> one, only one, for sure. Planes. Jets. I mean, yeah, the golf shit, the the whole golf thing is it's a passion project. So I'm just dumping money into it. Yeah. I'm so far in the red on that, but it doesn't matter because it makes me happy. Can you say how far you are? I don't know. I don't keep. Track you of, don't, I don't know. keep track of that shit. You uh, think I, I don't? Yeah, no, I don't keep track of anything, anything. in my life. You just not run it. a thing. You just live. I don't even have a credit card. There's no way that's true. Mm-hmm. Show me. I'm just kidding. Don't go through your whole wallet. But the, you don't have a single credit card? It's I I do have it. It's in the envelope in my game room, still in the envelope, not unpacked. So that's how you're building credit, is it's just sitting I there. I checked my credit score the other day, and it's actually very good. Oh. Yeah, first time, <laughs> first time I ever checked at 27. <laughs> not kidding. Actually, I think that's better than me. That's better than me. Yeah. All right. Uh, so also, wait, can you... I was... Here he is. I was on Here YouTube. he comes. I was on YouTube. He's Dalton. loading. D-A-L. Buffering. D-A-L. Buffering. T-O-O-S. Buffering. T A O O S H. Can you can you do that for me? Can, but can you put up YouTube first? Can I pee? Yeah, yeah. Go pee. Go pee. Go Where? Pee. We'll do this after. We'll do this after. Because you're gonna want to lock in for this part. Okay. <laughs> that was building since an hour before the podcast. <laughs> Why didn't you say anything? Too scared. Okay. Well, you feel free. If you need shit, go. If you need to beat it, I go. I fucking massacred a, a gas station on the way up here. <laughs> Just the, shit out fourteen beers. The hangout. Sh- the hangover shits. Dude, yeah. Oh, those are rough. I sent it. Uh, how did someone lock you down? How does that happen? Uh, she's a great girl. Yeah? She's good for me. That's all it takes? Yeah. She's fantastic. All right. She's beautiful. All right. She's got a great spirit. <laughs> okay. I could, that's... I could see a future with her. Really? Uh-huh. Oh, damn. 100%. Little, little touches running around? Chill how, out. What are we thinking? Two, three? If I had to have kids, I'd like three. You'd like... <laughs> it's either zero or three? It's a big jump. Well, if I got when I get married, oh, the, obviously kids are gonna follow. Okay, and you're thinking three. I do want kids. I would probably say three. Ooh. What do you want? One. Ah. Uh, just one. No. Or just one. It's easy to say three when you don't have any. It's no, no, it's not. Have you yes, been to? A, have you been in three. public? Watch this. Three. <laughs> yeah. I want three kids. I'm, easy as that. Yeah. It's so easy to say, is what I'm saying. But imagine being in public. And, I know kids are. I know. And, that's what I'm getting at. There's multiple. Like, with one, you only have to do it once. My ideal scenario, you want to hear it? I've already, I've already talked about it. I guess, I guess one isn't too bad. You pop one out, put them in a nursery, come back five years later, they're five. You get five years of chilling. A little absent father. And No, no, no. no. I'm rocking with it. No, no. You, knock you, me up. No, no, no. I'm not knocking that. Tap that. No, no, no. Tap you, and clip. You get the put clips them in, ready. Bang. Put them in nursery, then you and wife go... Live life for five years. You and come wife, back, go live life. life. Come back five years, five year old, and then you start, and then you get to start. You Parents, are you listening? This is a strat. It has to be. <laughs> it has to be a strat. It has to be at least considered. I'm doing it. Matt's doing it. We're all in. It's the new thing. Sounds illegal, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave your leave your kids during the most crucial development stages of their whole life. It has to be. An, there has to be an app for that. People already do that, but yeah. it's just they do it in their own it's home. It's just like kind of like fucked up. Yeah. Anyway, I was just joking about that. By the way, I'm definitely going to raise. He if was, I have a child, I will raise the child. He's going to be a great father. I know you are. Yeah, I already have two kids, and they're doing well. One's right there. Nice. That was a good one. Yeah. That's a good that's one. That's good, dude. Fuck you, <laughs> fucking pussy. <laughs> yeah, what a bitch. <laughs> Wait, what were you calling like a pussy about? Crying. Crying. Oh yeah. yeah. No, I was kidding. No, that's tight, dude. Crying's uh, tight. Uh. Two said he cried. He cried multiple times on stream during his blackout days, oh, yeah. and I was like, "Oh, Blake's first time crying was like two e- two days ago, or two weeks ago, or a week ago." And he said, "Where is he at? It's fucking pussy." <laughs> <laughs> 6K, dude. Yeah, that's what I said. We had six k. No, yeah, I would have shit myself, dude. I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was over. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> I know. We th- we thought we were done, and then we weren't done, and then we we cried. <laughs> Dude, six k is insane. How many people were donating? Everyone. There was a uh, f- six of them that were just carrying. Oh they were they were beating ba- they were beating beating each other. The young Oilers. Yeah. I haven't had a whale in my chat in a while. We had six in one day. 
And then Cloaksy dropped to 100 out of nowhere. It's, I would have dropped 100. Cloaksy dropped 100 and it was just, and, and then he, he said, let me see those nipples. And it was his first time chatting. A big box around it. Yeah, big box. Did you know? Well, I was so I was so subscribed to so many people and just showing love when I was getting all the love back in the day when I had a lot of money, <laughs> a lot of money, and I was just subscribed to everybody in the community. I ha- I was the ninth <laughs> most subscribed person, not subscribed to, but I had the most subs- the ninth most subscriptions on Twitch. What was it like one fifty a month? I don't know. Had to have been. Yeah, probably. That's insane. Yeah. I had to. Did you have you gone? Have you cleaned it up a little bit? Yeah, my car, I uh, my card expired, and then they all went poof, and I didn't renew, like, I didn't renew too many. You got, like, you got out of it. I didn't renew too many. Yeah, I I like I like giving people money though. It's great. Me too. I used to drop hundred bombs into people's chats. Oh, I would fucking I I do I do either chug or take a shot for gifties. Oh, for I'd, you? I like I love making people drink. Oh, wait, for you or for other people? For other people, I'd I'd be like, yeah, if I can take a shot. And I'll gift you and I'll give 10. You, and I'll give you money. <laughs> i got to start playing with you. You want to run some that's back Warzone? In, that's back in the day. Back in the day. Back in the it's day, over. Man. It's been over. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually a homeless person now. You keep saying that. What do you mean by that? Nothing. You're homeless? No, I'm still doing very well. You're doing very well. I'm doing fine. You're doing well. You yeah. saved just not well. as Not as well as I was, but that's just that's hard to keep up. It's impossible to keep up. It yeah. will drive you crazy. It will drive you crazy. Yeah, I'm not thinking about it. And you're, you seem like your mental is pretty good. <laughs> what? Give me the behind the scenes of that. Oh, it's dark in here. <laughs> it's is dark. it really? Oh, it's been so dark for years. Is it really? You give a. Well, it's not. It's not. Light. It's just like uh, I'm just. I don't know. I'm too mean. I'm very mean to myself. Mm. Overall, I'm fine. I'm happy. I mean, you, you know, it's just the demons. You always have the demons. Oh yeah. Really? I'm working on that. I have a therapist and I have a life coach. Do you really? Now. Yeah, my girlfriend got me on it. I can't tell if you're joking. Oh, no, I am. Oh, really? No, I'm, no, I'm serious is what I meant. You are serious. I'm serious. Mm-hmm. How's that going? It's like, it seems a little pointless, but <laughs> like, it's good. <laughs> Once a week? It's the, it's whenever I can. Okay. So I'm out of town a lot. Oh, uh, okay. okay. So but what? therapy's good, fellas. I know a lot of you guys are struggling. Therapy's good. Therapy's sick, dude. It rips. It seems pointless. Mm-hmm. It feels pointless, but it is good to talk to someone and get that shit out and put it in the world. So, so you are our, uh, speaking of therapy... You are our first out of, there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 people on that board. That's all, uh, everyone that we've had so far. You're the first person that has been canceled on that whole, actually, no, it's not, Mango's been canceled too. So it's just you and him. How does therapy help that? Or was that, that was way later. That was way later, dude. Way later. That was the worst two weeks of my life. Or like, not two weeks, but like a month. Yeah. I didn't eat for like a week. Really? Uh-huh. How's, just... Purely off of like, I'm. It, does, it wasn't what they were. I'm, I'm already. I, war, I like what I say to myself in my head is already horrible enough yeah. all the time. So and that just matter. fueled it. That just fueled it. Yeah, it's bad. It's really dark. Yeah, very yeah, dark. Yeah, yeah. So, obvi- I mean, can we talk about it or no? We can. We can touch on it. How about we can touch it? Because you, I look up Touche, and there's a lot of fun videos. A lot of, bam, put the drink, drink, uh. Imperial Hal hates him. What the fuck? Whoa. Oh, shit. What, Watch that's party. crazy. And then there's like, what really happened? What the fuck yeah, happened like to Tush? Video, yeah. Yeah. I watched the whole thing. I had never watched it. Really? Why the fuck would I do that? It's, I literally have PTSD from it. I'm not kidding. I, I can imagine. Like legit. Like from those from those months. Or from the month. Just anything. Month, month and a half. Uh, so, yeah. What, what, is the, what, is it, what is it like... Being on that side because uh, it's got to be every streamer's worst nightmare. Yeah, it's horrible. I mean, it just it just feels like shit, dude. Yeah. Like, you know, like, I'm not, I, I wasn't the person, like, I know I'm a good person. Right. I know I am. Mm-hmm. You fuck up. Yeah. People fuck up. People fuck up. People fuck up when you're in the spotlight and everyone loves shitting on people on the internet. Yes. I mean, I obviously hate deleted the app, but, like, I saw enough. You deleted? I deleted, I deleted everything. Twitter. Instagram. For like a month, yeah. Really? I had to. Yeah. I had to. Did you did you stop streaming? Yeah. Because we became like friends. two months. We became friends way after. Like so two I'm months, like, yeah. I'm like, yo, this guy Touche, we're doing, we're doing, we're, we're chugging beers, 100 hours of Apex. Wee! And then somebody's like, yo, isn't Touche the guy? And I'm like, no. Yeah. Can't be him. Yeah. <laughs> he got canceled. Yeah. But I, is it is it also weird Seeing a wave of people that 
back you that you also don't agree with? Is, I didn't. I don't. I don't like. You don't. You didn't. You I didn't completely even like, checked out. It's. I mean, people that were backing me. I. I don't want to say I supported that. It's. It's just like yeah, man. I fucked up, mm-hmm. and I owned up to it. And that's all you can do. People that were like actively backing me. I get it. They're fans, and that's that's fine. Yeah. yeah. Do you? But like, you can't back someone when you did fuck up because it just makes you look like a shitty person too. Like it's just like. True. Yeah, I mean, I fucked up. You own up to it. You live and you learn, and that's that's life. Mm-hmm. And anyone out there that's acting like their shit doesn't stink too, and they haven't fucked up, and they wouldn't be like in the same shoes if something happened to them and they were on the internet. They've all fucked up. Everyone's everyone fucks if you up. Put, you put a camera. every fucking person yeah. fucks up. They fuck up bad too, and that's it's okay to fuck up because as long as you take accountability, you live and you learn. Yeah. You grow from it. And you become a better person from it. Yeah, that's it. So, are you still fighting your com- not your player community, the developer community? Are you still fighting? Yeah, I'm still blacklisted. You're still from that. Yeah, from that, from those. Yeah, even if I months. wanted to play competitive, I couldn't. They yeah. blacklisted me like three years ago, and I don't, I don't even know if it was from that, because Zach Mazer was at a LAN in I don't know fucking Sweden or something who's, recently. Who's Zach Mazer? You know Zach? I don't know if I know Zach. He's a professional player. Okay. Yeah. I might know him. You know him. Okay, Zach. <laughs> We've probably reacted to him. You know, he's not that good. Okay, we prob- no, I probably don't know him. No, he's good. Oh, but okay. he doesn't have, like, big react videos. Oh, okay, okay. But, like, he was talking to someone from Respawn about me, hammered, trying to get me on blacklist. And, True. And the guy from Respawn was like, we don't even know what that is, dude. It's just some. It's just one person at EA that completely... Oh, shit. Yeah. You. So it's just like one person at EA that was like, fuck this kid. Yeah, that will happen. Yeah, it's fair. That will happen. It happens, it happens on our side of things, too. Um, yeah, so so the watch parties, were, had you already fallen out of love with it at that time? No. No, I was still very in. So it hit It hit at the worst time. It hit at the peak. No, no, no. Well, I, I was banned. For, I could still do watch parties. Oh, okay, okay. They what, do you, what do you think? They could ban me from watching something? The, uh, Activision. <laughs> Has literally. <laughs> That's different. Okay. That's different. It's still all know. the same platform. I don't know. It's still the same platform, and there's no rights like with streaming about it. I, oh, because on my end, because all the players stream their own POVs, so yeah. you could technically watch everybody's POVs. Yeah. But you, if you watch the main POV, they could get. There's you no YouTube Twitch confliction. Mm, okay. So it's different. So they oh, okay. Do that. So yeah. you could still. That has could... no ties. Yeah, I could watch part of whatever I want. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Okay. I thought that's what had happened. No. But you were also trying to. No, I just in. fell out of love with the game. Oh, okay. Two yeah. completely different things. Yeah, friggin'. Two co- that's what you just did. I went. I tried to go like this, but my hands were in my pocket. And then you flared. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that looked Put dumb. the shoots out. Yeah. Okay. I get it. I get it. Friggin' two completely different things. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so, so you just fell out of love with it. and that That's pretty much the end of that. Yeah. I mean, I still like entertaining people, as I said before, but it's just the game doesn't yeah. inspire me as it used to. Oh yeah, Bruce. He's having a great time. Bruce is. Uh, I think he's in. He's in. A, he's in the eights, and he's just cooking right now. Um, last question: Do you do you have a a not last question of the whole pod, but of this like uncomfortable segment? Uh, do you have like a, a a hatred or not a hatred? But are are you not as fond of the of the Nene dance anymore? Do you still Nene or no? I haven't Nene in a while. You haven't. <laughs> Of a in a while. Well, no, no one has because that trend passed. That's true. That's true. That trend okay, passed. okay. But if the song comes on, do you skip it? I'm blaring that <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm blanging that. Play it after this, bro. I'll fucking hit, I'll fucking hit that shit. I'll, I'll shmang it, baby. I will shmang. That's crazy that that all happened and stemmed from that fucking off the cuff joke, dude. <laughs> from that joke. From that joke. That shit was crazy. <laughs> Shit was crazy, dude. Like, what the fuck? It was like, yeah. Is this real? And then it was like, oh. it probably. Oh, it's real. <laughs> it was like, whoa. What was what was it riding up? Because I, I hate to hark on it, but everyone puts themselves in the shoes that's ever streamed ever. 
I mean, it's only a matter of time. I've said it multiple times. It's only a matter he of time. He almost caught one. He caught. He almost caught one. You did good. Good management. I try my best. You somehow. You somehow fucking got it. Like it's only a matter of time. That shit was crazy. You got. You got it. It's almost. I, wait. How did, how did you even know about that? You. You keep eyes. No, I just. I'm. I, what do you mean? I'm in the. I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> I'm, on, I'm on the internet. <laughs> it's only a matter. So, of, all it takes is like I did the same thing. I was on top of it. I was like, I'm. I'm sorry, dude. That was fucked up. Right. 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 And then, and then, like some, like some, like big creators mm. were like, "Nah, like it's not okay." Fuck this. Kid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck this kid. They were hitting up. They were hitting up. They were emailing sponsors. They were. They, yep. they were cheering. Yep. When I was getting dropped. Yeah. It's just. It was it's just hater, like it was super hater. It was energy. malicious. Dropped from what? Soar. No, Lenovo G Fuel. Oh, 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 oh. Sponsors. Ten k a month. <laughs> and they loved it. They loved every second yeah. of it. I'm okay with like you know like hold me accountable, but like right. at a certain point it's like, what's your end game? What's the point? You're just trying to bury me, yeah. Because I fuck because I made a mistake. I'm a human. Yeah, that was what I. It's just like, yeah. But I mean, like you know, it is what it is. Yeah. One time, uh, it's in the past. One time, uh, Blake was talking when we first started. We get our we get our our, our initial like income. Uh, Blake Blake and George get enough income to quit their jobs. From, I, from um tight dude you're uh, tight dude sick from, beanie i was thinking that earlier from uh from uh from elgato so elgato hits us up with a little bit of a uh eat that no with with a little bit of a, a income and uh enough enough where they can do tst full time and then uh Blake talks shit to somebody in gbs oh jay Blake talks shit to somebody in gbs and they got so mad they emailed elgato uh, and then they all got up people who was like, yo, we just got an email and uh, we just got an email. we're just making sure that everything's going good with this whole team summertime thing. And uh, luckily they're really cool about it. But yeah, people will, if they're mad at you and they don't like you, they'll go, they'll go yeah, and I get it. as far as possible. I get it. I totally get it. You don't know. You, do you get you, it? Like, yeah. I don't like you. I didn't know I was in the spotlight like that. Like really? I know I had viewers. Like you have viewers, but it, it doesn't feel real. Right. It doesn't okay. feel real at all. I get you. And then when you like, I fucked up, and I was like, I didn't realize how many people like this was. Like what I say matters. Yeah. Right, and I right. was like, wow, I wasn't ready or trained or yeah. prepared mm -hmm. or knowledgeable of any of this. Yeah. I'm fucking. I'm 20 at that time, probably 24. I'm 24. I don't know what the fuck's going on. No idea. No clue. I'm just like ah. <laughs> and the, my the, fault, gang. And also, the the internet world is a lot different than oh, real it's a fucking real world. The real world doesn't matter. The internet world matters. Well, like when when you fuck up, like in that situation, the real world doesn't matter. No one fucking knows who you are. Yeah. No one fucking knows. Like it's, it's so finite. Yeah. And then if you zoom out even more to like life. Yeah. Yeah. One fuck up. Yeah. You know how many people fuck up. Like monumentally, every like <laughs> like murder people every like and people like there's a new there's a new headline every day, yeah, and people forget, right? And like they but, forget in two but weeks. In the moment, I, every every eyeball in the world was on me, and they yeah. all hate every single seven billion eyeballs, fourteen billion eyeballs were on me, and they yeah. all hated me in my head. People want blood from anything they can get. It doesn't matter who it is. People love drama, and I and I get it. Like that's why reality shows exist. All that shit. Like, drama's fun from an outside perspective. Like, fuck it, dude. Like, yeah. it's so easy to talk shit and be a hater. I totally get it, bro. Like, the only thing I, like, talk shit and hate about is, like, sports. Yeah, but were and it's you... it's so easy. Were you that guy? Because I, I always hate on the people that are just... If it's towards me, that's one thing. I know that's super biased. But sometimes people will be like, well, Scump's not even that good. And, like, he had to retire to watch party. And he's not even... like They just rant about... People say that? People rant about, like, all of these guys. People say that? And I'm super protective of all of these guys because I fucking, like, love this shit. And I'm just like, I'm, I'm like, how could you be that fucking stupid? Like, I want to fight them. Oh, dude. With my, you see how big my muscles are? They're fucking huge. Dude, I, was I, thinking, I was thinking that, I bro. Fuck I was, was going to say it. I want to fuck them up. And then I remember when I was, when I was 13, and I was like, yo. Yeah, the fuck internet Peyton is very Manning. easily accessible. Fuck Peyton Manning. Yeah. I remember being like that. Like, like I've been streaming <laughs> Fortnite recently. Like, I'm, I, I love, it's a fault. It's definitely a fault of mine. 
because I got a lot of shit going on up here, and there's a lot of evil in there. So whenever someone comes to my chat and says something that allows me to fucking release any amount of demon percentage in my head on them, I fucking hop on it, right? So if they say some dumb shit, I'll be like, yo, you, you, you worthless little fuck. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like just I, I, because I'm, I'm projecting. I need to get it out. Right. I think that's part of streaming. But I've been playing Fortnite recently, dude, and I've been talking like people come in. They come out. They come in. Out of the woodwork. But the thing is, the Fortnite community is pretty young. Oh, so you have to be careful. No, Don't play no, Minecraft. No, no, uh, <laughs> no. You let it fly. I let it fucking sing. <laughs> they I gotta let, grow I, up I, let, I let it shout, and then and then like, fifteen <laughs> minutes later, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, dude, that kid literally said he was twelve, and I'm not kidding. What I say to them. They, they say some dumb shit, and they go, I'm sorry, I'm only 12. And I go, grow up, you fucking pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding, dude. I say it every time. If they are if they say they're below 15, because I'll ask how old they are to gauge where they're at. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, I, say, yeah. I say, grow the fuck up, dude. <laughs> Get older. F and then fucking slam the ban. I ban it myself. And then like 20 minutes later, I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, shit. I'm like, I'm like, nah. No, it's not oh shit. It's not that. I'm like, eh. it's not that bad. I'm like, mm, like okay. a sh I was like, that was, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's how it is. That's it. Just, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it can happen again, is what you're saying. It will happen again. It'll happen. It'll happen the first. Yeah, what the fuck? They're annoying, dude. Like, fuck, fuck off. Yeah. yeah I yeah. had some fucker make 40, 40 new accounts the other night. 40. 40. And you banned all of them. For like four hours, he would he would come in and say something. He went from like, "You're trash," and then like thirty accounts later, he was like, "Kill yourself." <laughs> and there was and there was a message in in between every sequence of of that like progression. Do you ban yourself? Or you have a pretty good mod team. It depends on the, like Apex. I, no, I don't have a fucking mod team. They're just people. It's not a team. Not te okay. Well, like, are your mods good? Do they ban themselves? I mean, they're great for even being a mod, but like, That's I, true. I could, the, the fact that people think they like, unless if you're XQC or like fucking Kai, mm -hmm. you can ban people yourself and monitor chat yourself for the most part. Like you as a streamer? Yeah. Oh, I, I haven't banned someone in like three years. Oh, dude, bro, it's fucking easy as click, 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 click. Maybe I need to get to it. I when my when I'm doing Apex streams, dude, and someone says something, like I will it's a millisecond, bro. And my mod's like, fuck, you're fast. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I am. But you know what I do before I ban him? Is I say, Your life is meaningless, you're a worthless piece of shit. <laughs> Wait, you say it out loud or you or you type it? Sometimes I type it. Dude, if you type it, that's even worse. Sometimes I type it. That's hate. I type, that's if, I, if I don't want to type pure no, hatred. I, I actually type every day. I type every day. Like if I get shit on and I'm in an Apex queue and I'm fucking just it's like someone's like, "Damn, bro, why'd you like? Why'd you slide in the open?" It's just like, motherfucker. Bam, bam. Don't ever I'm, play I'm like Rocket your, League. I'm like your mom's open. Damn. And then, and then they're like, "What does that I, mean?" I I'm twelve. I have to get it. And out. then you're like, Fuck. I have to get it out." Yeah, no, you don't have to. You choose to. I have to. Okay. All right, we'll go with that. Maybe ask. Uh, I don't know your therapist's name, but maybe ask her or him, him. if you have to. Him. Guy therapist? That's the way to go? Yeah, actually, for men, for men, yeah. I need to... I probably need to go in there. Because I'm, I'm like two months off the SSRIs, and I see it creeping back in. So yeah. I'm thinking maybe maybe I go back in, you know? It seems pointless, but it's just good to talk. Good to talk. It's just good to talk. Like they this? Don't, don't, is this therapy? Yeah, it's, this is nice. I could do this for five more hours. I'm not kidding. <laughs> really? I'm not kidding. I will, I will finish that bottle There's of another, ja -ja. There's this one. I will get to halfway down that and talk forever. I'm not kidding. This is great. Really? I'm enjoying this good. thoroughly. Yeah, you're good. I'm running out of questions, but we can just keep fucking talking. <clears throat> um, you do have a tendency. You just touched on it there. You have a tendency. Uh, Apex Q, bam, bam. Oh, shit. I got third party. We're on Kings Canyon. Golf videos. <laughs> like Stephen Hawking. Like <laughs> Golf videos. Yeah. Because uh, this shit's, this fucking streaming shit is rotting my brain. You don't like it anymore. No, I do like it. You, to an extent, you but, say it, but no, you no, no, don't no, 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 say no, no. it like it doesn't, confidently. It doesn't matter. Like every, like all these guys, it's all rotting. You think? It's just brain rot. You think Dashy, Dashy, Formal, and Trippy are in here? You know how much stimulation you get from a 12 hour stream of ranked? How much? 
bro, you're either focused on fucking max level gameplay, calling out comms, rotating, shooting, all that shit, right. or you're looking at a fucking moving chat. All, like you're doing both. You're doing both, and then you get off and you're like, <laughs> oh, you're saying it's overstimulating, bro? Yeah, rot, rot. <laughs> Like, if I looked at birds for two seconds that are beautiful on a waterfall on Niagara Falls, I'd be like, yeah, yeah. where's the like, chat? Like, yeah, like, fucking. <laughs> like, it's rotting, dude. It fucks you up. Yeah. No one, no one, like, actually zooms out and says that. But, dude, like, this is, it's too much for the brain. That happens to me. And social media consumption all the time, like we do. Dude. Bro, imagine if, like, fucking pilgrims could just go on Twitter and see fucking AI bot porn. <laughs> be, the, the, they'd be so The civilization tight. would be burnt to burnt. the ground. Burnt. We wouldn't exist. Or we'd be a lot more fucked up. We'd be so fucking dumb. Dude, the other day, I was watching a YouTube video on my TV. I have, I have my Apple P TV. And there was a lull in the video, so I pulled out my phone dude. and clicked on YouTube. Dude. I, cl dude. I clicked on YouTube Bro. on my phone. Last night I was watching Rick and Morty during the ad break. I was like, oh, fucking TikTok, no. <laughs> and, then I, and then I was like, oh! And I threw my phone. I'm not kidding. I was hammered. But I was so, uh, I was so taken back by, I was like, by what what's am happening? I? <laughs> I was like, what the, what's happened? Like, what has happened to me? As soon as an ad hit, I was like, You're like fuck yeah, TikTok. <laughs> And I was like, what What have I become? <laughs> and I went and picked it up and I watched TikTok for two and a half minutes. Two and a half minutes. It was a Hulu ad break. Uh, Nick Maniac, I do a podcast with him, and he frequently, like I would say once a week, uh, like relapses and not... Okay. Big, re big relapse. Hold on, hold on, yeah, hold on. Big word for him, I think. Yeah. From, what, from what I know. Yeah, let's not say that word. Let's not say that word for him. Uh, he he uh, caves. He caves. And Still bad. No, no, no. Not Still as bad. Not bad. nearly as bad as the R word. Uh, caves, and he'll watch seven, six. He's, he's admitted six to nine hours, six to eight hours straight TikTok. I've done that. Have you? Yeah, all the time. Couch. Hangover days, dude. Just bam, 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 bam. TikTok is fantastic. I spend probably four hours a day on TikTok. Four hours. Every day. <laughs> four hours a day. Every day. I spend like an hour when I wake up, just kind of just. What does your feed look like? Um, it's a lot of sports. It's a lot of gaming. It's a lot of funny. And then there's the, the occasional tit. The occasional mm. hot girl, because they're just there. They, yeah. they exist. I get you. It's just it's trending, but maybe or most of the time it's sports oriented, and then gaming secondary, and then just like generic funny stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, enough to get you going for five hours. I mean, it's just it's just pure stem, baby. It's just stem after it's stem just after pure stem. stem. It's for sure gonna ruin humanity, though, and I think we all know that, dude. These fucking seven year olds that have phones. It's how over. do you how do you socialize? Why would you so, is, why would you socialize? There's no reason to socialize. No. If you take a 7-year-old That's a conversation I could have for an hour. If you take a 10-year-old's phone that is at a table with other 10-year-olds and you take all their phones, they would f it'd be like lord of the fucking flies. Dude, you know what like made me notice it like heavily? I was at my girlfriend's parents for Christmas and she has a 10-year-old stepbrother. Mhm. Mm and he's referencing jokes on TikTok. That I reference with to my friends, and I'm fucking 27. We're making the same jokes because the jokes are trending, and I'm like, "What the You're fuck like, oh, is going <laughs> on?" Like he's he's doing he's doing the funny voice, but I I do it to my friends, right? And you're like, it's over. Like, what like, what are we? Like, what are we? What, 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 what are we quitting? What are we? If I said, "What are we quitting?" He'd be like, "Yeah, but what are we quitting?" And I'm like, "Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> fuck you!" I don't think you can say that to you. <laughs> yeah, I can. Okay. All right. Yeah, I can. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I can. But like, we're we, it's I don't know. They're not being kids anymore. But that's a fucking con that's a conversation. That's a conversation for another time. That's that's not my problem right now. It will be. Here's a soon. question. Here's a question for you. What's up? When you have a kid? Yeah. Let's say five years from now you have a kid. Five. I'm thirty one. Five years from now you have a kid. Your first kid. Okay. The times are the way they are. Technology is very involved in five years there will be robots walking around yeah when are you giving your kid a phone that has full act of an late, iphone late late i think that's what you think hold on here's here's a rebuttal 
When are you giving them an iPad at the table at dinner to make them never, shut up? Never. Mm, that's what people say. Uh, okay, it is that's what, people what people say. say. It is what people say. It's really easy to say it without them crying at your fucking date. It is. It is easy to say. I I think I'm going to be less strict than my parents were, but I, I'm still going to be strict. I didn't have a phone until I was 17, 16, 15. Yeah, that's fine. And it was that a, was back in the eighties. This was a little, this is like nine years ago. You like that one? <laughs> Matt, you shouldn't like that. Matt, you should not like that one. I mean, y'all didn't have phones. I was like fucking. All right, dude. Was, I yeah, hate the, it because I used the to curl, make the curly dude, cord. I hate it because I was the one making these room. jokes. You had to walk in another room. I I am the one that usually makes these jokes, and somehow since I've turned twenty eight, it seems like everyone else keeps making them. Nah, you're pissing me off. I'm I'm gonna look it up. It seems like everyone keeps making them towards me, and I don't like it. Hold on, Seth is getting text back. Oh, scump. Oh, you have scump's number. I don't even have his number. Yeah, you do. <laughs> why are you? Why are you taking a picture of me? When wait? When are you giving your kid? And when you're you're? I don't know, dude. You're. I'm, I mean, knowing me, I'm just gonna say fuck it and give him an iPad at like three, dude. Let him rock. Just let him rot. Let him rock. Rock, rock, and rot at the same time. Yeah, and inadvertently rot as well. Mm. You want a boy or a girl? Boy. <laughs> <laughs> What? There was so much. I mean, you you have the internet, bro. <laughs> What's understood doesn't need to be explained, bro. You got you you got fucking you got you got URLs, bro. You got fucking you got it, bro. Like what the fuck? <laughs> I went to FSU as well, bro. Like you got that. Oh my god. <laughs> they they kind of got fucked this year. What do you think, dude? Yeah, yeah, they did. Yeah, hundred percent. But then they got fucking stumped. That wasn't that wasn't them. It wasn't them. It wasn't them. It was a ghost of themselves. It was fucking our practice squad. Like, and obviously Georgia has like fucking ten times more depth than we do. True. For those of you who didn't know, I uh, grew up in Tallahassee, Florida, and went to FSU as well. Mm-hmm. So, I'm a big Knowles fan. Uh, I mean, yeah, I think I think full strength Florida State puts up a fight in the playoffs, hundred percent with Jordan Travis. I mean, I I get. I think they made a good decision. That's fine. It would have been ni- it would have been nice to see us in the playoffs, but like m- also a a full a full like I care about FSU a lot, but a full counter argument is Georgia should have been in. They're they're still the best team in college football without a doubt, not even close. Georgia, yeah, not who did close. they lose to? I, I don't even remember. Bama by three. That's fucked. And, that's, and they didn't and make the it. SEC championship. And they didn't make it because of that loss. They went from one to five. What? <laughs> I I didn't I I. I, it I, was it was a nightmare scenario. I think I th- dude, I don't think that's horrible. I don't think Texas or Bama should have been in because they both had a loss. Texas lost to Oklahoma. Alabama lost to Texas. They shouldn't have been in. I don't know who the fourth slot would be. It should have been oh, it should have been Michigan, Washington, Florida State, Georgia. Georgia should have been in. It. They should have probably and Georgia wins that. They should have won. Yeah, yeah. They should have won three peat for sure. They are the best team in football. They have the they're. Uh, it's, it's gross. Did you see what they did to us? They annihilated us. I blacked out that night. <laughs> the bowl game or before that? After. I was streaming the whole time during the game. Do you know how much shit I got? <laughs> Do you know how much shit I I was saying, bro, after I, after I blacked out. But you knew it was going to happen. I did. 27 or 26 no, I, starters. I did. Don't play. I did. Yeah. I did know it was going to happen. That, that It's like, it's like if, you're, if your grandpa has terminal cancer, you know he's going to die. Okay. You know he's gonna die, but when he dies, it still hurts. <laughs> That's what I texted my girlfriend. Because she's a Georgia fan, so I didn't talk to her for a couple of days. Did she go to Georgia? Or is she just a Georgia fan. She's from around there. She's from okay. Athens. Mm. Yeah, I, I lived in Georgia for a little bit, so it's a lot of lot of bulldogs in my uh, in my. In yeah, my Georgia, Georgia was the most talented team in college football. They got beat one game. And but, Bama was never – they just won that game. They But they never looked that good the whole season. And next year is the, the playoffs, right? Next year is 12 teams. 12 teams. 12 teams. That means some of our shitter teams can get in. Yeah, I mean, that could be fun, but it probably – a, a, a little March Madness. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. It should, I mean, it should have has it there, should have never been four. There's it, five five conferences and four spots. What? It should – yeah. I mean, when I fell in love with college football, it was one game. You're an East – 
Eastern Carolina. ECU, yeah, East Carolina, not Eastern. East. Sorry. East. Sorry. It's a fucking, the, 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 the starting, shit school. The star, okay. But the good thing, <laughs> the, go- it. the good thing, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> the good thing about cheering for a school that is not a uh, fucking roll tide. I don't give a piss about nothing but uh, blitz, bamba blitz. Yeah, uh, the good thing about caring about teams that are not like that is for my birthday, the starting running back wished me a happy birthday. Did the starting running back for the That's FSU? Special. Did the starting running back for FSU wish you a happy birthday, or did you not? I don't really seek out attention like that. I just turned 25, and the, the, the starting running back for ECU wished me a happy birthday. That's pretty special. Does he deliver food on the side as well? That's so fucked up. What There's the no, no. no NAL deals going on over there. No, there are. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Smithfield's, Big ones. Smithfield's Barbecue. Big money <laughs> Big business. In. Big business. Yeah, big money coming in. Transfer portal hit us good. We're going to be great. We played Michigan first game this year. It FSU's didn't... transfer portal is popping. Right really? For Ryan. Norvell's the goat. Wait, I thought, I thought, wait, 26 players didn't play. Mm-hmm. I thought they all hit the portal. No. Oh, they just didn't play? Yeah, why the fuck would they? <laughs> they risk themselves. Do you understand how deflated that <laughs> team was? I can't like, believe they put can together you, no, a can roster. You, can you imagine like how deflated those young men were? How did they play? I don't know how They're they They're 20 played. years old. They did everything they could. They, they watched their starting quarterback get massacred. Right. They go out and they win two more games, one against a rival in the swamp, mm-hmm. win the AC championship, and then they get fucked mm-hmm. by 13 white dudes and some random woman. In suits. In suits. Oh, fuck suits. Why? Why? Would they put any more effort in? Apparently, the wins don't matter. That entire season didn't matter. I know I'm just ranting. That right last now. game doesn't matter. No, but apparently, all of our wins didn't matter. True. Yeah. Keep in mind, we went out for the first game of the season and molly whopped LSU. <laughs> we fucked them. Beat them by, I think, 20. Yeah. I think- the number five team. I think Shawston group chatted us and said, we're so fucking back. Yeah. And I said, I'm kind of in this because my mom has a master's degree there. Yeah, I mean, why would they care, dude? Like, they, it's, it's, one, it's like, it will go down in history as one of the most royal fuckings of all time. I will always be mad about this for the rest of my life. I agree with you. I agree it, with you. And but, what makes it worse, do you have hater energy in, in you? Not too much. Is there anything in the world that you have hater energy towards? Oh, yeah, but I can't think of it off the top. Oh, you yeah. know who I fucking hate? What? You know who I fucking hate more than anyone? Bevo. Who's that? You don't know Bevo? Bevo, no. The no. fucking British TikToker with the fucking big ass teeth that swallows his food after two chews. Can you look up Bevo, Matt? What, where are we? Matt, you, get, you know Bevo? Do you have to get home, Matt? I mean, eventually, but you're trying. Okay, 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 okay. Matt, do you have to get home? I know your bedtime's at 8.30. <laughs> Matt, are we okay, buddy? Why is he checking in on you? Do you need to change your diaper as well, Matt? No, he's been here. He works here. So he's been here since 10 a.m. So he's working? I got here like 8.30. This is his his side gig that we're going to become millionaires one day. Look at him. Look how confident he is. Yep, this is it. This is <laughs> yeah. No, no, yep, this is out. the this is the end game right nah, here. Nah, dude, dude, Bev, I fucking hate that kid. Who is Bevo? How have, you don't spend time on TikTok, do you? Not six hours a day. That's good. Mostly, good. mostly Instagram reels. Look, look, this guy, the top left, top left, Bevo gulping a potato. Oh, this is the guy that Adapt always tweets out. Yeah, look at him. Watch, look at his giant potato. Watch one, two. And oh just swallows it. Oh my god, you hate this guy. Hater energy. I fucking hate that kid. Yeah. Okay. Because <laughs> he, he is fucking huge. Because he's huge. You know, no. It's not even him. It's just any TikTok star that blows the fuck up in like, <laughs> a, like a month. And then they act like they own the world. And they're going to be nothing the next month. <laughs> give or take a couple months. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just TikTok is like you could literally do nothing. But do it consistently and skyrocket to stardom <laughs> for two months, and then you just fall off the face of the earth. But they, but he's acting like he owns shit. Yeah. So you kind of hate like the whole. You kind of hate the system more than you hate Bevo himself. No, I hate that fucker. But <laughs> no, well, and I just his because his dialogue is way worse. His, oh, di- is it, his is dialogue it? is way okay. worse. Yeah. I hope now that my phone has Actually, heard me. Actually, no. When I changed my mind, I'm fucking with him. You fuck with him now? I'm fucking with him. You switched up? Yep. No, I couldn't. I tried to lie. I couldn't. <laughs> you no, fuck, fuck with Bevo no, Heavy? Fuck, no, fuck that kid. <laughs> I'm so... It's all over the place now. I tried to fuck with him for a second. 
I tried. It didn't I, go I very well. I switched it, and then, I was, and then my body was like... Bleh. It didn't go very well. Nah, fuck that kid. See, the only hater energy that I, 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 I can consider myself like a pretty solid dick sucker towards like everyone. Like Everyone gets, gets a little bit of love, um, and I show everyone a, a, an immense amount of love, uh, but I fucking hate. And I think it's because whatever hatred I did have, 50-50, all went, went over here and then channeled into one thing. One thing, and it One. squeezed all my hater juice out onto Alabama football. All of it just dripped onto fucking really? the Alabama football. Really? I can't stand them. No, I can't. I, I like them. Really? I do. Even as an FSU fan? Yeah, because I have to respect greatness. As a, as a sports fan, I have to. Even though they got in. Even it's though not just about this year. It's about the someone, past. It's, some, it's, some it's about the past 10 years. Some suit. Said, "Hey, roll tide," and they slid over a hundred dollar bill. That well, had yeah, a this lot year, more this zeros. year I'm a little sour. I'm a little sour, but like I'm not gonna disrespect Alabama football. They're fuck like back in like six, seven years ago, dude. When they were, they had fucking Derrick Henry, T.J. Yeldon. Just the talent they have, like I can't sit there and hate because that is fun. That is I fun can. to fucking watch. That's it's good fun ball. To watch. I can uh, hate. I, I it, can't. I can't hate on good ball. I cannot hate on good ball at so, all. So, how are you with the NFL? You like the NFL or no? I do. Yeah, you're just a college guy. Just no, no. I'm more. I. I. The NFL product is better. So you like the NFL college better. football is more. Mm, it's tough. It's tough to say. It's a big conversation. It's more passionate. College football so is better. more electric. Mm. It is. It's better talent, not more electric. What did you say? What did you? Better talent. In you NFL. Said, you said, thank you. Thank you. What did you think I was saying? College football has th- better talent. You thought I said that? I was, gonna, I was, I was ready. <laughs> Holy I shit. I was ready to cook your ass. <laughs> yeah, I know. The NFL is a better product. It's better Pl- talent. Plain and simple. It's better talent, not a better product. Watch, mm-hmm. a Penn, watch a Penn State game. Tell me any NFL yeah, game. But no, there's only fucking two Penn State games that are actually good. Yeah, but the... Every, every NFL game is... The Swamp. Penn State... Tallahassee, fucking Doke, Clemson. Doke, not Tallahassee. Doke Campbell. I don't fucking know. I haven't lived there since I was seven. Does it? The fucking, you lived there? I lived in Panama City. I lived in Florida. It's Doke. I'm saying, did you watch college football? No. Oh, my God. No, college football is... Oklahoma. He's from Oklahoma, and he still didn't. Yeah, I was going to the shit, so I didn't know. No, <laughs> now you're chilling. <laughs> No, NFL NFL is better. We've I've had I, it just depends, dude. Like college football, college football's heights. Like their 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 top college football. There's nothing better. I don't think in sports. Really? When college football gets going, and like there's a good game going on, anything can happen because it's just not as disciplined, and it's just all young guys going after it. I think college football at its peak beats the NFL 100. percent Actually, as I just vocalized that, I'm gonna take it back. I lied. What did you lie about? I wasn't even listening. Really. I lied. No, I can't okay. say that. I no. can't say that. Can't say that what? I'll just say the fans are more electric. The environment's more electric. But the NFL overall slays. No, you see, you're making points for college football, but you're caving at the last second. I can't. I can't. I cannot. You're caving cannot, at the last second. I cannot second. fully. Unless you're a Cowboys fan or you're a Green Bay fan, there's no electric. It, the electricity is it in college. It doesn't matter. I'm watching. I watch ball, bro. I watch all the balls. Yeah, I do watch a lot of ball. I watch I need, hockey. I watch basketball. I watch the NFL. Unfortunately, I need to lock in to an NFL team because living in North Carolina, there wasn't. You're a Cowboys fan. Yeah, and that's what I'm getting at. But living in North Carolina, like the the anything that happened. I lived in like central and eastern North Carolina, so anything that happens in Charlotte is like not even real. So like, so you were a Panthers guy. I never really watched the Panthers unless they made it to the Super Bowl. Wait, then you all guys, of a sudden, wait, yeah, you guys say Cam Newton. I I actually watched. You the f- missed prime Cam Newton. I watched the first year that they made it to the Super Bowl. Jake Delhomme, mm. Stephen A. Smith, yeah, was running around. No, S- Stephen Smith. Steve, Steve Smith. No, Jr. Steve Smith. Yeah, Stephen different guy. A. Smith. Different guy. Who was on crack? <laughs> Stephen A. Smith. Julius Peppers. I watched those days. <laughs> and that was a lot of fun. Yeah. And then they were not good for 14 years. And then they come back and Cam Newton. They make it in the the Super Bowl again. Then they lose. So bad those game. have been those have been the two years yeah, that, that I've been. That was a bad game. I was at my buddy's house for that one. I was against Manning. 
That's a bad game. Yeah, those have been the two years that I've been uh, Cam, Panthers fans. Cam, going for the fumble. I don't want it. I don't really want it that much. I remember that. I don't want it too much. <laughs> ah! I'm sure I'll be here again. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I just fucking. Um, just want to smell it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, well, like like I said, I, I needed to lock into an NFL team because I'm so locked on one college football team that that's what I watch. And then I like watching FSU as well. But I need to lock in on the NFL team, and I think it's going to be the Cowboys. Yeah. Because the Cowboys are here. You're in Dallas. You need to Texas. lock in on an NHL team, brother. Stars. Or the, my. Yeah, uh, Stars. I'm a Stars guy. My, uh, my, my girlfriend's originally How from. How many games have you been to? Two. Fucking electric, right? <laughs> so one was, Mex- one was Mexican night. It's fucking amazing. Yeah, hockey's the best live sport. Um, no, yep. but it's good. It is really yep. good. No, what's your rebuttal? Uh, all of the other ones. <laughs> I think basketball is better. Football is better. No. Soccer is better. Basketball live is close. Football doesn't. Like if you factor in every football game, no. Hockey is mm, fo- hockey is constant. Yeah, it's, it's constant. It's, it's and almost it's fast. It's almost too constant for me. I think it's TikTok oh, brain. Okay, so you're casual. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Super casual. All right. I'm sorry, I can't keep track of the starting lineup when the starting lineup is 17 rotating casts of five. Yeah. It's five are on, and I'm like, oh, shit, there's yeah, Barry it's, Young- it's all about the stem. Barry Younger is in, and then five seconds later, yeah, I'm like, oh, like shit, four different li- Four different lines of three. <laughs> yeah, no, I can't keep up. Yeah, like, no, I know who my, I can't I know keep who up either, qu- but I know what's happening. I know who my quarterback is, and he's going to be my quarterback unless, you know, something happens. Hockey, hockey is the best live sport. Playoff hockey? You been to a playoff game? I haven't. I haven't. The I I do I do regret. I used to live in North Carolina. I used to I do regret not going to Canes games because uh, K, the Canes won the Stanley Cup while I was in high school in Raleigh. You didn't drink any beers that night, did you? I did not. Not in high school. Wow. Yeah. Around the Pussy Podcast with Hitch, bro. <laughs> is that a clitoris? Don't have my. Is that a clit? No, that is the center logo. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to thank our sponsor, <laughs> Center. If you want to find the center of your woman, that's find her clit. I don't think. <laughs> I don't think that's not. Find a clit. I don't think that's that's where it is. I don't. Uh, who knows? Uh, okay. It's your belly button, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I mean hockey. Hockey reps, dude. But like a peak football game at home, like if you give a fuck about the team, definitely better. But nothing's better. Generically speaking. What's the best event you? What's the best uh, sporting event you've been to in your life? Good question. Good question. I've been to a lot. I can go first if you want me to. Well, because I, I I've asked been to question. a lot, but home games or your team's games carry a lot of weight. That's what I'm asking. I don't want to. I don't care about. But like, but the thing is, generic. Like I've been to a lot of generic <laughs> hockey games. Where where if you drink enough beverages, it fucking it matters. You place you place a cheeky bet, a cheeky oh, bet, a bet, a bet. Okay. You place a cheeky bet. I want to know about your passion you, though, not your not your financial well, passion. What what game? I think because you probably went to a lot while you were going there, right? Yeah, all of them. No, damn. No, I go to bars. Damn. Um, I think Notre Dame, Florida State. Fuck Notre Dame. Notre Dame, That's Florida awesome. State. Um. I think it was maybe 2013 or 14. It was like the last play of the game we won because they had an illegal block, and it was the craziest game I've ever been to. I also went to the Rose Bowl where Oregon uh, put their dicks in our mouths (laughs) of the first playoff in 2014. We were at the stadium. I was with my grandpa my mother, and when (laughs) Jameis stumbled and then fumbled and they ran it back, I'm not kidding, I, I stormed out of the stadium, and they just followed Really? And that was like the third quarter. <laughs> and I don't even want to know how expensive those tickets were. They just followed. And they and we all left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, there, and also, here's here's something funny. There was a Fortnite kid. That was a, That's an old joke. Um, there was like a, probably a 12-year-old out there. Uh, I was storming out of the stadium pissed and hammered. And yep. I was like 20 at the time. Maybe 19. No, I was like 19. And he, uh, he said, go Ducks! <laughs> Kids twelve, and I said, "Fuck you." <laughs> <laughs> was, were his parents? Kids there? twelve. No, they were. He was like fifteen feet in front of him, and they probably said something to me, but I was too drunk to care. 
<laughs> he said, fuck you to a 12 year old? Yeah, right in his mouth, too. <laughs> like, I'm not kidding. Like, right. I was like, <laughs> like, I probably had spit. You're like, <laughs> yeah. you really let the F fly. Yeah. That's like with a pH. That's not dope, but the the Notre Stadium Dame part. was sick, and the day, and the day was sick. I've been to a lot of sick Florida State games. Yeah, I can imagine. I well, I do want to go back to another Florida State but game. But hockey think, games just are the best. I think Florida State has the best like walkout of all college football. Great tradition. Top top three. So sick. Top three. Uh, my favorite. Don't laugh. You promise not to laugh. Mm-hmm. Okay, my favorite game I've ever been to was the Conference USA Championship, uh, ECU back to back. Oh no. Isn't that awesome? No. We we went at home. Okay. It was awesome. What conference? Conference USA. Oh no. The United States of America. Holy what? shit. Are you not ah. are you not fucking patriotic? Sorry, dude. And I also was there right now. What? What? <laughs> I was also there when we for some reason we played West Virginia at home. And they were ranked seventh in the nation, and we beat them at home. Oh, West Virginia and was nasty back that in the was day. Fucking nuts. West Virginia was nasty. Yeah, that was really crazy. You know, I can't hate on that. Yeah, that I that can't one. Hate on that. that one's probably the, our most impressive win, probably ever. But I was there for that, and I was in the building. Oh, I, I did. Uh, you know what? The most impressive sport venue that I've been to and sports game that I've been to was the Super Bowl last year. Oh yeah, you did go. Yeah, yeah. I did go. Apparently, it was a great game. <laughs> no, you didn't buy Super Bowl tickets and then get blacked. <laughs> you didn't get. You didn't buy Super Bowl tickets and then get blacked out during the game and didn't watch it. Fuck, man, that's fuck you money. That might be the most fuck you money. But like, I just like, I'm not a Chiefs fan. I'm not an Eagles fan. I was so watching the game. You? I was. I don't have a team. But what? But what are you doing there? Is what I'm asking. I was there for the boys. It was my birthday. Who are the boys? Mud Dog, Nate Hill. <laughs> That's not worth. I love Mud no, Dog. Mud Dog, I'm... Nate Hill, Scump. Um, who Seth, else? Seth did not sit with you. He's Seth, in the Oakley section. He sat in the Oakley section, so he doesn't count. Mud Dog, Nate Hill, Scump, J Cap. Did you sit with him? Where was he? <laughs> I, don't know, I think it was me. I think it was me, Mud, and Nate in the same section. Okay. I mean, dude, like, I'm at the fucking Super Bowl. I'm blacking out. I blacked out. I blacked. I'm blacked. Do you remember anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember pregame, first quarter, second quarter? I remember most of it, but, like... Because that game came down to the wire. It was a great game. It was a good game. And a big call at the end. Huge missed call at the end. Yeah, and it's not like like I don't remember any of it, but it just didn't matter to me. If I was a fan, you remember every play. But sure, I was, sure, I was sure, just sure, watching sure. football. Oh, you were just chilling. I was watching football and getting That's hammered. different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was like kickoff no. starts there's and no, you wake no, up no, the next morning. No, there's, no, oh, okay, there's, okay, no okay. Full, there's never any full darkness. No. I've had full darkness. No, you haven't. I, if I haven't had full darkness, you haven't. Blake? You got Zand. It's possible. You got Zandy Bob. It's possible. There's no full darkness. I had full darkness. People that just throw around the word blacked out, I'm like... You, wait, do you I think, think I really... Yeah, Blake picked me up in the hospital. Do you you really think that happened to me? Here's here's the yeah, story. Yeah, hospitalized. Yeah, dude. Here's the story. Dude, you know how much I drink? Yes. I, I drink like it's not it's not a cool thing to say, but like I will <laughs> brag on it. Like, dude, I I get fucking obliterated frequently. Right. Like I'll, I'll drink for like last time I was in Dallas, I drank for 15 hours with Scott straight heavily. Why? The Something to do? Noon kickoff Cowboys game. We were in the president's mm. box. That that's the, warranted. The president's box. Where the president goes. Where fucking Jerry Trump? goes. Oh, Joe. President oh of the Cowboys. President of the Cowboys. Jerry. Jerry. Okay. That's where he, we were in there. That's my president. You know how bougie that was? Yes. You know how many triple tequila fucking yes. cranberries I had? Hector Hector has access to the like Cowboys like uh bar. Which is like a super exclusive, like three year waiting list. And he said one time he was sitting there having a drink with his business partner, having a drink. And all of a sudden, a helicopter lands on the practice field. Jerry walks out of the. He said the whole bar changed. No, like, 10, like 10, mo- 10 more staff just arrived. And they were like, no, and they, so they, tight. And they put down the they put down the blinds. Oh. Everyone's putting out like more drinks. Yeah. And everyone's just like, the music gets louder. It's like holy fuck, Jerry's here. That is so sick. So anyway, you were in Jerry's box, yeah. and that's why that's why you drank. We blacked out at at one, <clears throat> drank till four. So here's what here's what happened to me. I'm 
uh, in Vegas, recently single, recently just hit a thousand subs on Twitch. What is that you hear? It's fucking money. That's what you hear. So I think I'm. I think no one can touch me. I think 1, I'm thousand. One thousand. This pre TST too, so or like to pay rent. TST had just started, so I'm getting it all. I'm getting it all. So I go to the strip club, and then Blake picks me up from the hospital, and that's the story. Yeah, you got no, you got bombed. You think so? Yeah, dude. Yes. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Well, you're the professional. You would know more yeah, than I would. You got bombed, hundred percent. What do you think? What do you think, Matt? I mean, it's definitely possible. You blacked out before. <laughs> but like, Here but like go. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, maybe it's just me then. I got to tell you a story about him. Like, there's nothing foggy that you remember. It's, it's a great story. Uh, I remember. There's no like in betweens. Um, I remember being drunk. I remember the uh, stripper coming up to me and saying, hey, do you want a back room dance? And I said, yes, of course. And she said, I have another friend. Do you want her? And I said, yes, of course. And then I remember the... I did that. I spent 9K one night. I spent six and a half. Same night. Uh, my night. I didn't have... They get you. I didn't have six and a half to spend. They look good, don't they? No, I don't think so. I don't even remember. Okay. But I remember her... I remember now we're just lying. I remember her. I said, she said, do you want tequila? And I said, I of course want tequila. Yeah. So I'll do anything. Here's the six K. And I remember the last thing, my lips hitting. They were, they were the six K. I remember they were, it wasn't the bottle. Oh, well, I remember, I remember the, my lips hitting the bottle and I remember her tipping. And then I woke up in the hospital. That was the last thing I remember. And Blake being like, Hey, and I was like, (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing more humbling than yeah. your boy picking you up. That's bad, dude. Sorry about that. In the hospital, yeah. No hospital for you? No, I gotta pee. All right. I gotta pee. Think about it. <laughs> Have you ever lived in a gaming content house? No. 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 I would never. Did you live in a frat house? No, I was not in a frat. You were not in a frat. I was just frat. You were you were the epitome of frat, but not in a frat house. I I lived in an apartment with two people rushing a pie cap at FSU, and our our apartment somehow became the hub of all the pledges while they were pledging. Oh, shit. You got best of both worlds. So every single day I'd come home from work, and there'd be 12, 12 fucking eighteen year old, nineteen year olds yeah. in their outfits, like you know, suit and tie, and they'd be just taking dabs, ripping beers, just like yeah. Just sitting. DJ. Just sitting because they were either on call or just got off a 12 hour fucking ass session. What do you mean, ass session? Just getting railed in the ass by the, the big boys. Wait. Yeah. Matt, you guys had 12 hour ass sessions? Yeah, basically. Yeah, you call them ass sessions? Sure, yeah. 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 Just like uh, they would tell me everything about rushing. They, okay. They would just vent. Okay. And they would just be talking about it. And I was in the apartment and I, and I was like, how? So you, you kind of got best of, best of both worlds. Yeah, I, you kind of got I like go to any frat. That you can I go to the parties. To. Yeah, the shit but you didn't have to. I like would never. I would never get take hazed. that amount of shit. But I will say, in college, if you're in a fraternity, the vagina that you can get by just being in a frat. <laughs> and dude, I'm not kidding. There are some fucking losers that were in frats that I saw get laid by women. <laughs> That were so goddamn far out of their league. So if, right. you, if you're about to go to college, rushing is going to suck dick. <laughs> but, if you, if, but if you like sex, bro, do it. I, I cannot stray you any, any differently. It's worth it? I, I have to say yes. Okay. Because it's only six months of rushing. And, and also just It's like, six months? How, how long is it? Maybe not. No, it's not six months. Probably like two months. Uh, yeah, it depends. It all depends. Like how much schools. was your? How much was yours? Uh, like three and a half, I think. Yeah. Three and a half months. Did yeah. you get hazed and shit? Yeah. What was yeah. the What was the worst thing that happened to you? Can't say, bro. He's a brother. <laughs> oh, really? I don't know. That was a joke. Uh, it's, like a, it's like a cult kind of shit. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Like the whole thing is like, oh, you never say blah blah. blah. Oh. But we don't really. We, nothing was that bad. The, the worst thing was I week. But what's I week? Uh, we had to live in the basement for a week. <laughs> It's crazy. That's insane. <laughs> and like, dude, I have I I get off work. I get I used to do I used to have two jobs in college. I'd get off my delivery job at four AM. Yeah. And I'd come home to some kid in a suit on my couch and I'd be like, What are you doing? He'd be like, I'm on call all night. 
What does call mean? So any frat brother that's at a bar or wants a ride or wants a jewel or wants a beer or wants anything, anything he wants, as soon as he calls you, you fucking get up and go do it. I could never do that. Yeah. Were you on call like that? No, I got out of it, but. Mm, my, <coughs> that's my man's right there. So he yeah, would yeah. never. So I saw. I saw. Matt would I never saw get a jewel for I, someone unless it's Seth. I mean, dude, or the formal uh, like the vagina at FSU was totally worth it. <laughs> okay, totally. I, I mean, totally. But you didn't have to. Nah. That's what I'm talking about. Those fucking dudes. That, well, that is that is one of your most iconic clips. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's got. It's a good one to go viral. Yeah, it is. It is. That was a really good one. All right. Um, so. You, what's the future for you, man? Are you putting it all on golf? Are you still dabbling in gaming? Are you coming back to watch parties? Are you trying to, that you just left TSM? Are you trying to float, float out there and, and find a new home? Are you going off on your own? Are you, what, are you, what the fuck is up with you? I'll tell you what, I don't really have many plans ever. I just kind of let the let, wind take okay. me. But I'll tell you what, after the past year, being your friend, being Seth's friend, Mm -hmm. Watching Optic, I'd love to be in this place. It's a great place. Would absolutely love it. I think you guys are doing very well overall. I know I would fit in just because I know everyone here. Personalities are great. People are great. I know I'd be a good mesh. But overall plans, I got nothing. I just want to keep doing what I can. You can't really put too much out there for yourself. Obviously, there's some minuscule goals that I want to meet. But other than that, it's just me at the end of the day. Yeah, trying to meet those uh, those little expectations. Just keep streaming, get through the get through the the down because we're we're all down right now. We are all down. Sub counts up for you, but well, yeah, for the most it's part, it's gonna come back down. Viewership is down, yes. heavily, and mm -hmm. this is the first time that I think I've I've experienced this for the first time. I thought it was gonna be up forever, but this is my first time in my career where I've had to kind of I remember those days. Just be like. Mm. It's, it's not it's not it as good hurts. as it once was. It hurts, yeah. But I think if we grind through it, it'll be okay. That's yeah. the mindset I have right now, and that's, come that's back totally up. fine, 100%. There's a new game. There's a new Fortnite. There's a new Apex. There's always some. As long as you stick with it and stay afloat, you'll be okay. Yep. Golf, keep doing what I can do. We'll see. Shit will happen, 100%, and it'll work out. Yep. Because I'm blessed. You know, I got it. You got it like that. Yeah. <laughs> the work ethic. And mm. you're always thinking about content and thumbnails and how you hit the algorithm and how much you upload and, and your consistency and all that. Hell yeah. Right. How, what, how big is your team right now? One. Two. Just one grinder. Well, it's, it's me and Wheels. Shout out Wheels. Well, no, Muffin for Apex YouTube, so it's three. Three. And then Scooty's like tandem with golf. Okay. That's a, that's a deep squad. Yeah. That's a deep squad. Mm -hmm. You like him? I love him. Good squad. Scooty's the man. Fuck yeah. So Scooty's he... The man. Muffin's a hard worker. So wheels. He, so they worry about... The no, they don't fucking no. They don't care either. No, they just they just fucking want money. They were just riding my coattails. I know how it is. <laughs> I get that. Yeah, I get that. Like, yeah, I'm the guy. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna fucking sugarcoat it. They just want money and clout from me. It's fine. I get it, dude. It's fine. <laughs> I, get it. I, get I pay it. wheels, and then Scott's a small creator, and he's a, he's not actually riding my coattails. He's a great friend. He supports me very much. Yeah, that was rude of me to say. And you buy him beers. I buy him everything. <laughs> I, buy, I buy him flights. I buy him rounds. I buy him all that shit. But right. he's a good kid. He just got a new job because his green card just got approved from Canada, blah, blah, Fuck blah. Fuck yes. Nothing bad to say about Scooty. He's a great kid. He's a great kid. Love that kid to death. Good. Yeah. Um, is Has the uh, Apex ship sailed for you? Or is the one magical? I don't think it's magical? sailed just for me, dude. It's sailed for a lot of fucking people. Has, is there a magical update in the future? No. No. It's over. No, the only reason Apex has stayed afloat for so long is it's because it's the single best game of all time, in my opinion, when mm -hmm. it comes down to straight mechanics. I don't think there's a I don't think there's a game in history with better mechanics than Apex, gunplay and movement. Do you? Have, you Nothing has been close. And you play on console, or you play on controller. Mm -hmm. Do you have the binds and shit? I have the binds and shit. Do you have the fucking. No, I don't. I don't tap strafe and shit. No, you don't? No. I'm, not a, I'm, I'm not so a much better than you already. I already know how to do that. Right. 100%, dude. I know how to do it. I'm not. No, Apex, is, Apex has only stayed afloat for this long because it's the single best game at its root. Really? I will. Gunplay? As much as I talk shit about Apex. Yeah. T give me flirt. Single best game ever. For besides all the, Fortnite. I doubt, I doubt any 
Apex EA developers are watching. It's, they didn't make it through the FSU part. That's for sure. But if someone clips this and sends it to them, flirt flirt with Apex for no, a little they, bit. They won't. They won't bring me back. I know, but flirt. I've with, said this before many times. I want you to flirt with the game. Flirt with Apex. No, I've said this. Tell before. me. I've, tell me some I've, shit. I've said this fifteen times. Let me see it. Let me hear it. The game is where it's at, and so many people love it because of the mechanics. Yeah, it has the, some of the best movement that we've ever seen. It's the most fluid game that I've ever played in my entire life. It's amazing. Bar none, nothing comes close movement wise. Nothing is as fluid. The gunplay, smooth. It's all. It just feels liquid. It blends together so well. It's fantastic. It's a great game at its core. It always has been. That's why we loved it so much. When you play it for five years, you're gonna get sick of it. Yeah. And when the developers don't do too much, they're probably doing their best. I'll give them credit there. But there's not enough update. There's not enough transparency. There's not enough from them. And when you have a six-month-long rank split in season 18 where rank means nothing and all you do is get a fucking dive trail at the end of it, what's the incentive for us to keep playing? And then you come out with an event that has a $300 death box. You can't even fucking wear it. You have to die for the $300 death box to come in. You have to be dead. You can't even fucking be alive to have the cosmetic. You have to be in the lobby for the cosmetic to fucking kick in. Mm -hmm. But again... I say Fortnite's the greatest game of all time, by far, not close. Apex is right there. Right. And do you think, because this is my personal opinion, I think Apex is the most competitive com BR eSport of all time. No. I think it is. No. Don't tell me Fortnite. Fortnite. Don't tell me Fortnite. Dude, it's not close. It is close. No, it's fucking not. The Fort, have you seen those fuckers? No, and what no, they I'm do? not. I'm not. I'm not downplaying their talent. This guy's an idiot. No, I'm not downplaying no, their talent. This guy's an idiot. This guy's I'm an not, idiot. Clicks had a great clip of this. Have you seen the Clicks clip? I haven't. Where he's talking about this? I haven't. Dude, the fact that you got a fuck. There's fucking thirty people in a ring that's twenty yards no, wide. No, I'm, I'm and telling there's you. There's different layers. There's I, different match. You got to work on tarping. You got to work on rotations. You got to work on box fighting while you're working on heels. And the storm's coming. The storm's rotating. And uh, dude, bo like just watching a box fight of Fortnite now is one of the most mechanically challenging things I've ever seen. Hundred percent. Much less working on rotating, keeping your own walls, keeping your own tarp, all that shit. I will fight you. No, I agree with you. Talent wise, go for it. Go for it. A uh, talent wise, m Fortnite is the best. God okay, damn. So, so what are you saying? What I'm saying is the most fun. The 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 most what is that noise? That's a horn. It's that's a horn? A, it's a car horn from a vehicle. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. The Mavs are playing in a Blake and I's Uber. It's going to be $500. No, the Mavs, the Mavs have been playing for about 30 minutes. You're good. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so I, I think that, it, that, that Fortnite is the most talented video or uh, BR. Competitive wise, but I don't think it even holds a candle to how. You poured that. That's too much. That's you, motherfucker. No. I, I don't. I don't think it even holds a fucking candle to how entertaining Apex oh, esports are you, are you is. About entertainment. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking oh, about the yeah, best yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about the best that's game not to watch. What, that's not what best means. That is what oh, best, best means. to watch. Yes, that's what. What that is the, What is the best esport of all time? Counter Strike. That's not the hardest. Fucking StarCraft is the hardest, or Melee is the hardest. What we, or, we didn't know what we were talking. It's a miscom. No, okay. Well, it's a we, miscom. So now we're, we're on the right track. Let's, What's let's, the best BR esport of all time? Counter Strike. <laughs> it's not a BR. Oh, BR. The best oh, BR. BR a, the best BR esport of all time. Oh. Do H1 and PUBG have a little bit of a. Yeah, they all count. I didn't watch it, though, so I can't really claim it. They're not even close. Are they not? They're not. Yeah, best BR of all time. I'm still going Fortnite, dude. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Apex 100%. No, it's Fortnite. It is Apex. I, it's I Fortnite. can't watch. A I can't. I, I agree. Watchability, I will give Apex too. I, I can't watch Fortnite. Agreed. I, I, totally I agree. I respect their talent. Yeah. Yep. I can imagine. I can't imagine how many hours they put into one v one fucking watchability creative. for a non Fortnite player is fucking impossible. Five percent. I tried to watch. I tried yeah, to yeah. watch Nick play one time, and I was like, "Bro, what the fuck is happening?" Yeah, yeah, no, you're totally right. Watchability is a key word, and Apex is 100. percent Yeah, yeah. It's a really. It's a. I think the the way they've done the whole like Twitch 
fucking squad stream shit and all that. I think the the way they've done the the they have a fucking like Warzone doesn't even have a podcaster mode for Warzone, but Apex does. So yeah. regardless, I I, I think I, I was I was saying all that to ask if the ship has sailed. It seems like gaming wise, you've accepted that the peak is coming gone for you, and are you waiting for the next game or are you waiting for? Uh, or are you just gonna go? I'm just living. You're just going. No, I'm just living. I'm not going. You're the first. Uh, there's been. I'm we, still. I'm still gonna come home. Like I, I I'm gonna do golf. But yeah. when I come home, what am I gonna do? Just sit there and jack off? No, I'm gonna fucking stream. Whatever. Yeah, it's always both. I mean, whatever's popping. Yeah. I mean, finals is out right now, but I don't really love it that much. But there's always gonna be another game, and there's always gonna be another peak and another valley. Yeah. It's just the way it is. I gotta say, you're you're the the last the the last person of season one that we've had on around the bar. Thank Great you so season, much. Dude. Thank you so much for coming. It's a good coming. show. And you're the only person that's had this mentality on the whole show. Of what? Of I'm just going to live. The paintball player we had on is waiting. Is, he can't wait for the next fucking gun to come out or the next tournament. Our battle rapper there's can't like, wait like, for the next. Like no money in paintball or battle rap, I feel like. Yeah, there's not. But they're fucking just. They love it. They're just ready. That's tight. That's so sick, yeah. actually. That, that fires me up. And that, the, that, hold on. That just fired me up. <laughs> <laughs> that just got me torqued. Oh, fuck yeah. Wow. And all the gamers we had can't wait for the next game. All the YouTubers we had can't wait to, for the next fad to come out. I mean, I can but wait. But you are just vibing. You're just ready. That's always... That's You're ready for whatever hits you. And I think... I think... Yeah. As much as I, as I think it's... Uh, as, as, as much as I think there, there is a part of you that's just like putting on... You're just the fucking, you're the cool kid. Thanks, you're the dude. fucking cool kid. You're backwards hat. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> you're just fucking vibing. I mean, how? I think like there's the, part of you in there that's like, I'm going to fucking crush the next one. No, moment. no, because the yeah. thing is, from my, I'm, I'm a very logical person, whether yeah. it means bad or good. The thing is, the way I look at it is you can't plan anything in this industry. You can plan some things, but you cannot like wholeheartedly know what you're going to do next. You can't. It's impossible because this industry is so volatile and so liquid. You don't know if you're going to be on one day or off the next. You don't know what's going to happen the next year. You don't know what trends are going to be going on. You don't know if you're going to be involved in that, all that stuff. I know I know what this industry is, and it, and it, and it calls for just being – just being liquid and being, being able to shift and move around and do what you can where you can. And I'm okay with that because I know I have a, g a general talent and to a general get. vibe you to be to... able to mesh where I can. Yeah. That's the way I think of it. You do have the gift of yap, which yeah. is something that people don't have. Yeah. People are really locked into what they do. Yeah. And you... If you're, if you're, if you're one-dimensional in this industry, you're fucked. As long, if your game goes under, you're fucked. And your game will go under. Your game will go under, unless you're unless a Minecraft you're Fortnite or Counter Strike or Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that is going to do it with our uh, podcast with or our Around the Bar episode with Dal Latouche. Definitely go check out Behind the Bar. We're about to pl go play some beer pong. Is the last episode of the season, so Touche has to beat fourteen. Mystic Seven is still uh, in the in the lead with fourteen, and he gets a trophy if we beat it. So I got to do is answer weird questions okay. and sink some shots. Thank you so much for watching. That is going to do it. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Thank you guys so much for watching that episode of Around the Bar with Daltouche. That is going to be the conclusion of season one, which brings us to a close uh, for season one, which is all sponsored by Center. I want to thank you so much to Center Sparkling CBD for uh, making a dream of mine come true, which is the immediate funding of an entire season for Around the Bar. This has been one of my biggest dreams of my entire life. And 10 episodes deep, it has been an amazing run. We've had some great conversations and, uh, and, and I've learned a lot about a lot of different people in a lot of different industries. And I think we've had a really good time. I'm excited to see where Around the, and Around the Bar goes in the future, but we will always remember those first 10 episodes because Center made it happen. Thank you so much. Follow them on Instagram. And uh, follow them on Twitter and go get yourself some center. And uh, I thank you it's from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, center. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching season two, I guess coming soon. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.